We're live. We're live? I think. Hello. Hi. We're here. Whoa. Is Whoa. this real? <laughs> oh my not, god. Not AI. The fist bump happens? All right. That's yeah. the first one we've done. You saw it. You saw it here first. Yo. My my fellow tryhards in chat, what is going on, y'all? I am coming to you live from the Maya Compound headquarters. Where are we right now? Hello, everybody. Welcome to Alvea Sanctuary. We're an animal sanctuary in Texas. We rescue animals, and I do conservation education programs online. He's not afraid of anything, mm -hmm. so we're going to meet a bunch of animals today. You guys are going to meet the animals. I'm going to teach you about the animals, and then we're going to have a push-up contest. Let's do it. And I'm... <laughs> and I'm gonna win and then and that's that's it that's the stream that's that's the stream but there's more than that though y'all I am genuinely compassionate about animal preservation I am a huge advocate for maintain retaining and repairing biodiversity um, this is not anything fed from Maya this is genuinely things that I've already demonstrated on my channel before here this so is the smartest collaborator I've ever I, had I, <laughs> I love this I love everything about this I I, I, I respect you so much, Maya. That's so like, nice. You are, you are doing, but you're doing that thing where, like, you are the change you wish to see in this world. And I think that's, like, super godlike. Like, that's, like, bucket list legit. <laughs> so this is, like, super sick. Like, this is some shit I wish I had done, like, of my own accord, like, years ago. But That so. is so nice. I'm not used to people being this <laughs> nice. I'm used to streamers showing up. Last time, last one it was S-Fan. Mm -hmm. S-Fan's here, and I'm just like, don't touch that. Don't touch that. Shut up. Don't touch that. <laughs> no. That's crazy. Guys, this is the best day of my life. No, yeah. This is, oh, my this God. Is so I, I am, I, so obviously, Chad, I have the, we have the, uh, the charity donation for the sanctuary. Uh, I, I threw 500 up there, but I, I'm confident we'll smash that very, very quickly. There because, have already been several. Thank because, you. Because, um, um, I'm, I'm going to, you can harpoon my wallet, uh, try P2W here. I'm ready to match up to two hundred dollars for whatever y'all toss in there. So Hooray! Um, snipe two hundred, boom, so my nice. wallet's already destroyed. Thank so, you. So um we start from there and we go even further beyond. That is so nice. And or you'll you'll see, you'll see. I, if if we're not if we don't snipe that in the next hour or whatever here, I'm sure you will once we see all the all the fun animals and everything else here. Amazing. It's so know, nice. For, for real, for real, on God. Like That's what I said too. So. Guys, all right. We're going to start in here. Okay, we're starting in the studio. I'm going to bring animal. Whose mic is cutting out? Is it mine? It's his. Why is his mic cutting out? Poop. Is it cable? Oh, that's why. Stand by. Saved. Amazing. Let's see if that helps. Okay. All right, we'll see. Um, I'm going to bring some friends in here. We're going to meet the friends in here, and then we're going to swap to a backpack, and then we're going to go out there. All right. And give sounds, them a tour of the sanctuary. Sounds great. Cool. Saved. Yeah. Nice. And, and Chad, this is not pre-rehearsed. Uh, I have seen nothing. Wait, how much have you seen? Like, you know what animals we have? Or do no, you, you don't know no, anything? No, I, I, I am I am true React Andy here. There's $50 back to back. Dude. <gasps> oh, my God. Yeah. There's, Same there, there's then, so John. Many thank you for the donos. Logan, thank you. Lily, G Reach, thank you so much. Uh, we are a nonprofit, so uh, the donations that you're making today go directly into running this operation. Mm -hmm. We have animal care staff that we got to pay. We have animals we have to feed. We have yes. vet bills we got to pay. Yes. All that stuff. Yes. Um, so thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Trix has been streaming since 2011. This did y'all know that? You probably did because we're on his channel. <laughs> 2011? No, there's, 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 a lot, there's a lot of new tryhards in here right now. They don't actually know. They don't know the backstory or the lore and all that. Think of the fifty dollars. What the Ooh. heck? Think of the twenty-five dollars. What the heck? You knew that? Booyaka, booyaka. You know when I started streaming? When? Guess. Uh, I I'd say. Well, you knew. We were on like. Hmm. We met when I first started streaming. Was it on? It was on that battle podcast. Is that what? Is that what it was? It was on some podcast. I don't yeah, know. I think it might be like a Raj Royale or something. Probably. Probably. Uh, I don't know, 2017, 2018? 2019. 2019. Oh, you're, you're so young in the game. And look, and you're already doing this. Like, I was born in 2011. <sighs> wow. Thank you for the $5. Thank you for the, 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 the sub. Okay. Uh, absolute unit, thank you. Hype train activated. Uh, Uber <laughs> the Destroyer. <laughs> B Benny, Benny Blanco. Oh, my God. So, there's so, so many y'all. Literally, the activity log's already maxed out. Y'all are, 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 are killing. We haven't even shown any animals yet. I don't have to farm for the animals yet here. Wait until you see. We're on what the, your contributions are going towards preserving, nurturing, taking care of. We're on the redacted royale together. Providing safe homes to. 
Like it's gonna, it's just like, ooh, ooh it's gonna be so much ooh, ooh you're gonna just like. That's what I said. You're gonna like just melt from the from the, the cuteness. I go, okay, this is freaking bothering me, and then I'm going to bring out the first animal. Do you? Okay, so you don't even know what animals we have here. No. Okay, correct. that's huge. That's very exciting. Um, right, yeah. What is your favorite animal? Oh my god. Okay, favorite animal. I like I like turtles. I like lizards. Shit. I like. Okay. Uh, I think snakes are cute. Okay. I like, cool. I mean, like, like, I'm, I'm already showing like a, like a reptilian bias here. Um, uh, I like cuddly. I mean, it's not even like a. Sixty nine dollars. Nice, nice. Sick number. Probable. Thank you so much. I I I mean, I don't even know. You can um, I mean. You can probably start with whatever chat will find. Chat one. probably likes like furry, cuddly things. I mean, you can start with something like. All right, have I got you, something you can, you furry can, you can and cuddly one for you? We bring in the more advanced stuff, maybe. Here you go. I need you to put on these gloves. Okay. Please smile. Okay. Guys, uh, people who have seen my streams before might know why we're putting on gloves. Just say his name. Don't say what he is. Who's Ooh. up first? What do you think we're putting on gloves for? Do you know? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to think. Is it like a? Uh huh. I'm trying to think here. Um, Georgie. Something, something spiky or something. Georgie. Or something that's like, maybe something like cold blooded that needs like not the scathing touch of a of a human hand. <laughs> the scathing touch of Triax's hands. <laughs> okay. His name is Georgie. Mm, no He's bread. I think, my, really I, think, I think I have like large hands because th this thing is not fitting. Donna. Not not to brag, y'all. I gotta. Donna. Got, space. Donna. 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 Do y'all have like, any bigger gloves? Not even long right now. Do they now? not fit, really? They, I mean, I'm, I'm trying. Oh, no. I don't know if I have. Connor, we'll go get you larger gloves. <sighs> You're doing a great job. We'll go get you different gloves. Okay. If you have, like, bigger ones, it'd be great. I have mucus on me. Donna, 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 Donna. Look, look at him. <laughs> he's like, he's like the, 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 the battle toad from Naruto. Georgie. Uh, hey, Georgie, yes, yeah. That is what his voice sounds like. Georgie, you're so adorable. <laughs> is look, that look, not look, exactly? Look at you. Look at you. <laughs> you look more handsome than Hypno Toad from Futurama. I just want to eat you up. <laughs> Guys, this is Georgie. He's an African bullfrog. That is his real voice. He knows. He knows. He is catching the vibe so early on. He is from. He's not from Newark. He's uh, an African bullfrog. He's the second largest frog species in the world. He's a big boy. Look at him. God, he's so girthy. I love him. He's huge. I want to. Would you say he's a a flab? No, he's he's big. No, flab implies unflattering. No, he is he's. <laughs> Big boned, large and in charge. He's large and in charge. Adorable, commanding. Um, the lowest I would say is dad bod. He's got dad bod going on, but I, I, you know, dad bod's back in though. So he's a big, he's a big guy. What do you think? What do you think? The reason we're wearing gloves and we're waiting for Trihex to get a glove that fits his other hand is because he's an amphibian, which means he has semi permeable skin. Which means he soaks things up through his skin. Georgie in the wild, as you can see, he's not the most active guy. Now is he is he is he like because he's chilling right now? Is he's that chilling. Like, does he trust you or is it like he, he just? It's what he does. He chills. In the wild, he will bury himself for ten months out of the year. What? <laughs> yeah, and he only comes out in the rainy season, so he'll just stay buried. Thank and they you, have semi permeable you. skin, so he can absorb oxygen through skin because he's buried, which is so sick. But then also pollutants are a huge problem for amphibians because they soak up oxygen. They can also soak up um, vibes. No pollutants. So that's why we're wearing gloves. Yeah, there we go. You know, yeah, I I only want to show love. Man, he's not messing around. Wait, what? Yeah. So pollutants are a huge problem for amphibians. 33% of amphibians are at risk of extinction. Amphibians are frogs, toads, salamanders. Thank you for the $25. Yeah, thank you, Trexus. Thank you, everyone. I love you all so much here. I, I promise you, evening stream, we will, we will all more than, uh, so I can just. You ready? Wh what do I do? You want to hold him? I can hold them? Yeah, yeah. No cap? Put out, yeah, right, put so out your hands. You, you That's like good. This? Yeah. And I'll just place him in your hands. Oh, he's, <laughs> he's so trusting. He's expelling water. Nobody worry. It's not urine. It's water. He's so trusting. Georgie! I love him. They're friends. I love him. You point him at that camera. 
Yo, he's so he's so trusting right Yay, now. Yay, buddies. Oh my god. They're buddy friends. Oh Georgie, you're so <laughs> you're so adorable. <laughs> as long as you don't use your hypno toad attack on me. You're in water. <sighs> friend. Ah, oh, he's so cool. It's crazy you're not freaking out about that. <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> did he get you on that one? He did. It no, happens. So it doesn't bug me because so so I'm a country boy. Oh yeah. I'm from Louisiana and uh literally my mom grew up on a on a, on a farm, on a mm -hmm. barn. So like I've had to cows, pigs, chickens, um, I mean you name it, I had to deal with it. All right. Well, Feeding them and all that stuff there. Maybe we'll let the goats out today. Yeah, we'll let the goats out. Mm -mm, I don't know. I don't know. Um you wanna know something crazy about frogs? Don't talk you know to me. you know how pregnancy tests work? Mm -hmm. Chat, you ever heard about those? <laughs> you know how pregnancy tests work where you pee on a stick? Yes. Before we had disposable pregnancy tests, mm -hmm. um, they used to inject urine into the backs of frogs. And based off their reaction would determine whether or not the... If the HCG hormone was preg present, they would lay eggs. And so they brought a ton of African clawed frogs into the U.S. as pregnancy tests. Um, and people think that might be the origin of chytrid fungus, which is a pathogen that's affecting amphibian species worldwide. It's killed off 90 species of amphibians. Um, so now we have disposable pregnancy tests, which is way better, but that is something that used to happen to frogs. Wow. Kind of crazy. Is this the biggest frog you've ever seen? Uh, he's, he's a big boy. He's girthy. Uh, probably so. What American bullfrogs do eat? get really big. He eats crickets and once a week he eats mice. Damn. He likes mice. Chat, do you think he's cute? Mm -hmm. Chad, he he's commanding you to donate right now. You know, it's the hypno toad attack here. You can't, re <laughs> you can't resist. Eleven out of you, ten. You, you, cute. Ha you have to. You have to. Oh no, he's leaving. F feed his uh. Feed his um. You know <laughs> his his mice fund. Georgie's grown so much, and my hands have not, and it's get, it's getting really hard to hold him. How much bigger will he get? Oh, I think this is it. Okay. I mean, yeah, he's already, he's pretty he's chunky. He's pretty big, dude. Look how big he looks right now. Oh my gosh. He used to fit in one of my hands. Really? Yeah. I have to go back in the uh, the YouTube bots and see uh, how, how long ago they Look like at him. That's wow. when we got him in 2021. Wow. He's just a little bitty baby boy. And now he's a big boy. The m piece of mucus that slid off of him, he'll cover himself in mucus. It helps with water retention. It's actually very smart. You should try it sometime if you're feeling dehydrated. Mm. <laughs> no, he's just, ah, man, he's so cool. He's you guys so love cool. him. Chat, do you have any? That was an $81 donation. Yo. Thank you so much. Hampu, thank you. Thank you. Also, you, mods, let me know if we if we snipe the uh, the goal. If, if, will, will it, are you, 50 are, are you away. serious? 50 away. No cap. <laughs> All right. I don't know if that was on the microphone there. Uh, production just told me that we are at. He, fourth, production said no cap for we're the fourth record show. Already, okay. Will it? Will it? We need to up the goal then, because like, we'll let you. It, it, it'll it'll, it'll, it'll it. go over the. Okay, okay. I underestimated y'all, chat. That's I, crazy. Oh my god. Thank, thank you. you. Do you guys have any questions about Georgie? Do you have any questions about Georgie? I'm trying to think. Like, um, um, what will cause Georgie to get vocal? Is that he does thing? vocalize sometimes. Yeah, but we, we don't know. Like, sometimes we'll be working in here, and he just makes a, like, grunting, like, noise. But I don't know why. Okay. And I think he makes that noise at night, too, sometimes. I'm, just, I'm shocked at how calm and passive and trusting and loving. Yeah, he's a nice, he's, he's a he's, nice he's, man. He's, he's big chilling. How high can Georgie jump? Uh, I don't think he can jump that high, but he did do a backflip once. And I'm not joking. I really mean that. Does he primarily? So I see his like it, the tank is off screen here, but I see his tank. It has like a little like little little dirt pile. Water feature and his dirt pile. Do you, would you say he primarily hangs out in the dirt? He most? does. He okay. hangs out in the dirt and then he goes in the water to poop. I see. And then goes back in the dirt. I heard that. Okay. <laughs> That's what he does. That's what he does. Is Georgie more like a? Is he like a social frog or is it like he likes being alone? They're and not solitary. Really? He doesn't really. Yeah, he just hangs out. He doesn't react to much. He's not very social. Um, he doesn't, if you like talk, he doesn't like look your direction. He's just yeah. honestly inspiration. Yeah. We are in Georgie's world. Not exactly. the other way around here. Yeah. He just no. sits in the dirt. He's a, he's a sit and wait predator. So he sits there and he, he waits for things yeah. to come his way. And then he eats. Correct. He is the protagonist of his own anime. So like he's the main character. Yeah. You know? 
y'all will come to him, not the other way around here. I think his life's, I think they can live up to 25 years in captivity. And he's only not even two, I think. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So he's a little baby, George. Oh, thank y'all so much. You already sniped the goal that I, I, so I underestimated much. the tryhards here, y'all. We've only shown one animal so far. That is crazy. Thank you. Um, I don't know if it's possible to increase the goal. Okay, go ahead and go ahead and throw up the thousand. Then we gotta. Uh, Nate, thank you so much. Oh my god. All right, guys. I'm gonna put George away. We're gonna get the next friend. Are you ready? Oh, does he only eat live food? That's a good question. Um, yeah, he eats live crickets and uh, no, not live mice. We buy our mice frozen um and thaw them out for him. So I'm gonna put him back because he's expelling a ton of water right now. Mm -hmm. He's just filled with water. Like a cactus, y'all. Like a cactus. Yeah, I can put him in the water. Georgie, here we go. Okay. All right, everybody say bye to Georgie. Bye, Georgie. I can't. Um, I don't know if I can Georgie, reach you're the so water. adorable. There you go, bud. Sorry. There you go. There you go. Um, oh, you sure. can take your gloves off if okay. you would like. Because um, the next one you don't need gloves for. Exciting. All right, all right, all right. But yeah, but yeah, more, more. Yeah, I'm, I'm a, I'm There's a hundred dollars. Sorry. Oh. <gasps> Arctic. Arctic Pyro, thank you so much. Thank you for the hundred dollar donation. What the heck? Yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm a country boy, and um, so again, I was literally around like raising and feeding cows, goats, chickens. Um, I mean, you name it, I've had to take care of it. Um. Animals don't intimidate me. They don't scare me. Um, even right now to this day, uh, my mom, uh, she lives, you know, in the country. So Buddy. big ass yard. And there's like, Hi. I don't know, like five dogs, 12 cats. Last I counted, it's like 12 cats. They just keep, they just keep like, you know, they just keep, you know, you like spreading, and spreading and spreading and spreading and whatnot. Um, again, big ass yard. Takes like three hours to actually cut it down if you try to. Um, yeah, no, there's no, there's no animal I'm not, I'm really, like, scared of. Snake, mice, cuddly. <gasps> Next one! <gasps> Toaster strudel! Guys, mm -hmm. he said he likes lizards. I do think, I do think reptiles are cool. Can you show them your tongue, please? Wow, that's nice. He's a blue-tongued skink. Wow. Do you like to hold him? I would. How do I, uh... He's kind of long. Just support as much of his body okay. as you can. Okay. He's a little bit sharp. Mm-hmm. Nothing, Don't mind that. Scared of. So this is Toaster Strudel. Is he, um, so he? We don't know. Oh, oh man. Sure. Ooh, okay. You're, you're, you're a little curious. Okay, I like that. He likes forearms. Okay, by all means. <laughs> and um, so uh, is the is the tongue how how it smells? It's to, it's to, yes, and it's to show other animals that he's poisonous, but he's not. Oh, so it's like it's a... It's called dimatic display. He's fake. He's lying. He's mm. a liar. Uh, someone said we have these in Australia. That is, yeah, this is an Australian lizard. He likes you. Mm. He's all relaxed. That's mm -hmm. nice. Um, Toaster Strudel came from a zoo in California. His siblings ate his tail, uh, and it's grown back. That's fantastic. But he was in an enclosure with a bunch of other blue tongue skinks his age, and they chewed off his tail. And so he came here, and look at his little arm. <laughs> He's like... So cute. Mm -hmm. no, he's, I uh, think I have. He's 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 chilling. I thought there was food for him, but I don't know if it's in here. I don't think it is. Um, so Toaster Turtle's favorite food is what do you think? I don't know. I I I I, Chad, I what do you think? Kind of like could be an insect. Could be like a yeah. Okay. It's a good guess. It's a good guess. I'm thinking um, like crunchy crickets, maybe or like worms, a, eggs, mm. toast, snails. Yes, mm. good job. It is snails. His favorite food is snails. Um, and gardeners in Australia, gardeners anywhere, don't like snails because they're a pest and they eat their plants. So gardeners will use pesticides on their plants. Then the snails will eat those. Then Toast eats the snails. And then Toast dies. So I, I hate to admit, okay, so I'm, I'm a bit of a, of, of a woke, I'm a wokey because okay. I have heard that He's woke. some of these like gardening um, chemicals are yeah. so predatory and mm -hmm. anti-environment now that yeah. it's like out of control. Like, yeah, that's super woke of you. Some of them are really bad. Yeah, like they're like really bad. Like mm -hmm. uh, some the ones that are allowed to be sold in the U.S. are pretty much outlawed in the rest of the world. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, so yeah. I've heard it's like really environmentally destructive. It's called biomagnification. So people apply pesticides 
Buds plants, snails will eat the pesticides, toast will eat the snails, toast gets sick, a vulture or something eats toast, dead body, and then they consume those pesticides. Um, and so it never goes away, uh, and it works its way up through trophic levels, mm -hmm. and harms a lot of wildlife, way more than you think. Like, you think you're just killing yeah. snails? It's the same with uh, rat poison. You're like, oh, I'm just killing rats. You're killing the owl that it's eating the rat as well. Um, so we have Toast as an ambassador to talk about bio uh, magnification. Also, you'll notice Toast is really chilled out right now on his arm, mm -hmm. probably because it's nice and warm. Mm -hmm. Reptiles love basking, mm -hmm. and they love basking on roads because it's like a huge pavement hot source that they just get to lay out on and chill. But we also know what else is on roads. Cars. Oh. He likes you. <laughs> He's like looking yeah, at him. I am, That's I am so like, cute. I am just like, this is adorbs right now. Like, I, I can't. I'm, I'm cheeking right that. now. I'm not even farming right now, y'all. That is like, I've never mm. seen him do that. Really? <laughs> no. Oh, what are you doing? Yeah. Is that nice, buddy? <laughs> oh man, he's looking right at me too. Oh my That's god. So cute. Super happy. He loves yeah, you. Yeah. Big, big trust. Big trust. It's like his little baby. Can I get some pog champs in chat, y'all? <laughs> You're rocking him like a baby. <laughs> I I can't help he's it. In love. I can't. He, he's so he's so chill. Toaster strudel, he's just a little baby. Um, yeah. So uh, <laughs> on that note, vehicular vehicular skink slaughter. Um, they bask on roads and then cars hit them. So that's a big problem for reptiles, uh, as well. And oh, so what are these holes in the back of his uh, head? Those are the gills. Or those like? are his ears. Those are the ears, mm -hmm. okay. That's how he hears. And and the tongue, right? We're, we're smelling, we're identifying. He smells with his tongue. Mm -hmm. They catch particles on their tongue and then stick it back up in their mouth and that sends signals to their brain about what they're smelling. That's how they smell. It'd be this, if you guys were smelling with your tongue, if you stuck it out and there were like cinnamon rolls in the room, you'd be p catching particles of cinnamon, cinnamon rolls on your tongue. That's how you'd smell. But it's also the same for like if there was poopy. So why toaster strudel? How did that name come to be? Were you just like really <laughs> hungry that day or like... Toaster Strudel was born on July 4th. Mm -hmm. And so we were like, what is a uniquely American food? Because he was born on the 4th of July. And then we were like, oh, Pop-Tarts. Uh, and then we were like, Pop-Tarts is kind of a dumb name. But Pop-Tarts are like Toaster Strudels, which are not American, I guess. Uh, <laughs> so that's how we got there. I see. I see. <laughs> no, very, very fitting name here. Yeah. That's the whole story. Mm. I'm more of a Toaster <laughs> Scramble main myself. If I have to put him in a tier list, I probably... I probably like a toaster a toaster scramble more so than a toaster strudel. What does that mean? Oh, you know, oh, it's the um, so a toaster um, strudel is just filled with like a pastry gel, right? Yeah. Like a sweet gel, and you cover it in icing. Yeah. A toaster scramble is like you know has eggs and bacon in it, eggs, bacon, sausage. It's like just like a oh, like it, a, but it's like a pocket. Yeah, it's like, like a, a hot breakfast pocket. burrito, but it's in like a yeah, it's like in a hot pocket, oh. like or pop tart. Form I thought factor. you were making a joke. I thought you were gonna say that you like mash it up or something. No, no, no. I was just you know I was you know just like. You know, if, if it was me that day and my, my fat ass, I would just probably say, you know, toaster toaster scramble. He should be toaster scramble. It can be his alter ego. I like it. Okay, we're just gonna go. We're just we're just going. Uh, I, he's making camp. He he is he. He really likes your mm. your arm. He likes you. You guys are friends. Toaster rates trihex ten out of ten. Dang my so so if my arms were an Airbnb, he's rating it a five out of five. Five out of five. Five out of five. That's huge. I love it. We are not scrambling toaster strudel. Don't worry. Mm -mm. Do not worry. Never, never. No, he. Uh, yeah. So cool. So cool. I got, okay. Can I ask you a question, actually? Because I, I, I don't know much about like the the deep lore of Maya here. Like, so like in your upbringing, what what got you so passionate about animals? Did you have like a hundred pets as a kid or something? Or yeah. like, <laughs> oh. I grew up on a farm. Okay. Um, I grew up on a little hobby farm, uh, and then I went to school for agriculture. And I started working at zoos in college. So when, wow. you know, when you were a kid and people brought snakes and stuff out to birthday parties with like a safari hat on and they were mm -hmm. like, we need a snake, whatever. I did that in college. And then I started streaming 2019 and I started doing the same thing on stream. No, I love it. I think you're, you, you as a streamer, like you're so, oh God, I'm, I'm, I'm glazing so hard right now, chat, but it's organic here. Like. You are so based because, like, I'm so based. You are That's so what based. They call me because from the very jump, like your your compassion and your and the mission and purpose you have was so evident from the very jump. You you were bird girl, but you took bird girl like your bird girl vi virality, and you uh -huh. like no, I'm I'm more than just a meme. I'm oh my a god, you know no one's I mean? ever been this nice to me in my life. 
What is going no, on? I mean, like it's you're, you're like you are so cool. You that are is so, so cool to me. nice. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Guys, he's got to come here more often. I do. No, he's I excellent like for my ego. I would have came here. No content opportunity. I would have right. came for the vibes. That's it is true. Confirmed. He messaged me and he was like, "Hey, I'd love to come out to Sanctuary on or off stream. I just want to chill." That's nice. That's yeah. not like a normal streamer. But here we are. <laughs> They have a $25. Thank you, Thank you Jordan. Jordan. <sighs> we do have volunteer days. New mm -hmm. volunteer. Nice. That would be, I would, if I have time, I would love to. I would love to. Guys, Toaster Strudel, <laughs> I don't want to take him away. <laughs> like, he's so, you want to go do a close-up with him? You can go sure. walk up to that camera. And show them your, your baby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> your, your new yeah, just, child. He is just, he's just He chilling. birthed him. <laughs> <laughs> Toasty, you so happy there? Thank you so much. Also, you'll notice your chat while we have to zoom in here. I wanted to be topical today. I'm wearing my Princess Mononoke tank top um, to say, you know, F humans because they suck. Respect. Um, plus one to nature. You guys so. know the difference between a reptile and an amphibian? Because we just saw an amphibian and this is a reptile. What do you think? Throw some stuff at me, chat. What okay. do you think makes them different? Oh, I thought you put me in the hot seat here. Oh, you go uh, ahead. What do you think? Reptile amphibian. Is that the thing where like one has a backbone and one doesn't? Or one's cold blood and one's not? That's invertebrates versus vertebrates. Okay, okay. Okay, people are saying water. Good. Amphibians uh, do need water to survive. Yes. They like the water. Also, amphibians' eggs are born or laid in water. Reptiles lay eggs on land. Scales, very good. Um, Semi-permeable, yes. Yeah. So amphibians have semi-permeable skin. Reptiles have scales, like Toast is so kindly showing you right now. He's got scaly skin. He's got scaly. So does he Does he do all reptiles shed? Or is that only He does shed, yeah. Um, do all reptiles shed? I think so. He sheds, snake shed. <laughs> He's going to go look at you again. <laughs> Toast, what the heck? So this is like... <laughs> he's just like... Oh, he's... Fun. This, this is all the time. It's not just me. No, he does not. I have not seen him sit like that on anybody ever. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. You're right. Turtles don't shed. You're right. You're right. You're right. Um, does the tongue color mean anything? Like... Um, it's just a... He does it to show other animals that he's scary, but it's a lie. He's not scary. Um, not poisonous anyway. They can bite, though. Nothing I haven't seen before. And then the other thing is uh, reptiles are precocial at birth. So when snake eggs hatch, they can immediately do snake things. Uh, your amphibians are going to go through some sort of metamorphosis. So frogs, tadpoles to frogs, right? They don't come out ready to rumble like reptiles do. He's, he's, he's trying to burrow. All the other streamers have been very awkward with Toaster. It's true. They kind of like, they like two-hand him, but mm -hmm. he's long. And so they're kind of like... Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You got, you got, you got to have trust. You gotta, you show trust. You show that you're non-confrontational. You show that like, you're yeah, just, gators too. What am I yeah, thinking? You're just down for the vibes, you know. He's down for the vibes. All right. The worst he's gonna do is bite, and even then, like, he's never bit. I would, I wouldn't even like. I would, I would, I would like brute force through the bite and not even drop. Like, you know, just good for you. Yeah, it means yeah. No, I, I, I I'm showing. I got, I got a little streak red here. I'm not a. All right. Do you want to see the next one? Yeah, the to Toaster, we'll, we'll come back. We'll come back, Toaster. Toasty, it's time to go, buddy. I'm just going to I'm just going to take you, okay? All right, Aww. guys. <laughs> toast, time to take Toast back home. I know you guys toast really is, like toast him. Toast the huh? homie y'all. Pog champ in chat. Pog champ, don't worry. We'll uh He's oh, like, he's "Where is my dad?" <laughs> he's, he's so cool. <laughs> <sighs> All right, I'm taking him back. <laughs> All right, next one. What do you think it is? I don't. I don't know what Thank you got next. Me. I don't even know where things go from here. It's another reptile. That's not a letdown for me. Let me see here. So let's see. Uh, I'm trying to think of like what of, what other backstory do I have here about animals? Chat. Um, I have stories about like my first pet, um, my Man. first dog, uh, when my mom oh, adopted nice. a goat. I can tell you. Actually, I'm sorry. It wasn't a goat. It was a calf. Uh, she adopted a calf. Um, I can tell you about that story. Um, I can tell you about the current pets I have right now. 
and what animals, what animals I have, what animals I want to have. Shit, huh? Like, um, I guess we'll start with that real quick here. So I'm also worried about that. So right now I have I have two cats and one dog. Um, my current, the dog I have right now, her name is Skinny. Um, she is 20 years old. She's a rescue dog. 20. 20 years old. I walk her every day. I walk her a full. Wow. Walk her a full 1.1 miles. That's amazing. Yeah, you know, we do a 35 minute walk every day, and she loves it. She loves it. Yo, who is this? This is Patchy. This is a Snake. Oh man. Patchy is a ball python. Would you like to hold her? I, I was just tell me how you do it. Support as much of it as possible. Okay. Easy peasy. All right. Same deal. Same mm -hmm. deal. Um, you can keep telling your dog story, sorry. Yeah, so um, so yeah, I walk my dog every day when I'm done streaming. I literally, she's like, and my dog loves me so much, y'all, that she'll she'll wait at the back door, and just like, I mean, <laughs> just like not even an ounce of like lack of trust. She's like, oh, of course, That's Dad's gonna sweet. walk me. So we walk every day. She loves her walk. She's really she's really well behaved. Um, if I, I'm trying to think of what else here. Um, well, you have. One dog is that correct? I have, I have one. You, I have cats. one dog, two cats. Two cats. Uh, the dog's a rescue dog. I am. It's she's my world. I Aww. I just couldn't. In a world where see, I don't, don't want to be that guy, but in a world where like some pets are just like clout magnets, they'll just like deliberately breed like the exotic breed and then just farm it for IG likes. We hate then, that here. You know, no. Like I, there are so many animals that need rescuing. Skinny was um at a local pound because her owner had passed. And the owner had four labs. She was the last one to not be adopted. She had been at the pound for six months in a kennel. Had, had gotten really, you know, detachment syndrome. Just like really, mm -hmm. really, you know, does not like being alone at all. Yeah. And my mom was like, my mom knows the local veterinarian there. And she was like, uh, Trihex, you know, I'm just, whatever, Michael. Michael, you, uh, you. <laughs> she was like, Trihex. <laughs> you, you have a house now. You have a yard. W could you please give this dog, her name is Skinny Minnie. Could you please give her a home? And I was Aww. like. I was like, okay, you can bring her over. I'll figure it out, whatever, here, because I wasn't exactly ready for a dog just yet. So I had just got in the house. And, uh, I mean, two days later, I, my heart, just like. Aw, yeah, that's so like, cute. So I wish I had a picture right now. I don't she's know if, like, a lab and she's 20? Mm-hmm. She's a that chocolate lab. Actually, mods, if you go to, like. crazy. Mods, if you go to uh, Black Anti Venom's Instagram and, and go way, way down, you can find a picture and probably drop the link in chat. Um, wow. But yeah, she's, she's, uh, sh so I got her in September of 2017 and she was, uh, 14 and a half years old at that time. So you do the math and now she's 20. She's 20 years old, very healthy, still walks every day. She's gotten a lot slower though, I will admit, but you know, Damn. I still, w in, in a world where I've heard some German shepherds are, you know, hitting hip problems at like ni at nine years old, skinny is 20 and still goes for the walk. Yeah. I mean, nine or earlier, so big uh, dogs. And That's let me tell insane. you, I'm, I'm a good dad. I, I don't give her any treats. I, I, I give her her mature dog formula. I, yeah. I want to spoil her so bad. That's what I do the walk with her for. Yeah. So her digestion is still good. You know, her wow. poops are still wholesome. She still poops on regular command or wow. on regular schedule. She's a really happy dog. Wow. Very, very happy. Now I know why Toast likes this guy so much. Man, he's good to him. All right. This is Patchy. He's holding Patchy. Uh, Patchy is a ball python. You want to go show them? Um, you'll see that. She's only got one eye, uh, and if you see her eye up close here, you'll see that it's a little bit cloudy, and that's because she's going to shed soon. Um, Patchy, we got from... Patchy was bred for color for the pet trade. So they breed ball pythons, all different colors, uh, because people think they're cool that way, and they want, like... I don't know, what's a video game term for that? Whatever. Um, but sometimes it leads to genetic defects. So for Patchy, she was only born with one eye. So then they couldn't sell her to a pet store, so she came here. Mm hmm to be it for the happy home a shiny per if you will a rare skin a color way yeah that's what i yeah that's what i was gonna say it's just, just on the tip of my tongue sorry I'll, I'm, I'm, I'm giving a bad angle here she's just like yeah she's kind of hiding here i'm gonna try to uh so one of the reasons we have patchy patchy's a ball python do you guys know why it's called a ball python no because when they get scared they curl up in a ball which uh, is not the best defense, to be honest. Um, oh, here we go again. The reptiles love, <laughs> love Trihex. <laughs> Ch check them out. Um, no, it's not because they have one ball. It's because they curl up into a ball when they're scared, which sucks for wild ball pythons when it comes to poaching. They're extremely easy to poach. Oh, that's another one, too. I, ugh, I hate the whole trophy hunting that oh I, I see when it gets Did you see that thing going on on Twitter recently of, like, the elephant or something? A bunch mm -hmm. of people were talking yeah, the, about the those elephant, guys. The elephant that was, like, kneeling in, in like, a fetal position. I, I hate it. It's it's so... Yeah, it's pretty No, it's pretty it's, it's really... Um, I, I hate it. Pretty whack. I hate it. 
because elephants are very intelligent they're very compassionate they're very friendly they're very social there is like a but also just what is it is it for are they they're not even doing that for ivory right they're just doing it for the picture because they don't, don't take like mounts of elephants. I don't, I don't even. Think. It's just like it's just it's just it's cringe. It's not yo. for meat. It, it's it's so cringe. Like you you're using like completely unnatural high powered weapon weaponry where on like essentially defenseless animals. Yeah. For what? For some kind of like superiority complex or some kind of like again quite frankly game hunting cloud or whatever. It's just whack as hell. It's whack as hell, y'all. Whack as hell, y'all. Um. Well, we for are, snakes uh, too, ball pythons are the most exported species monitored by CITES, which is the Convention um, on the International Trade of Endangered Species. Um, so people, the, the demand for ball pythons in the pet trade is super high. They'll take a ton of them out of the wild and bring them into the States to sell. Mm -hmm. Patchy's not one of those. Uh, she was born in captivity, but uh, it's affected wild snake populations quite a bit. So poaching is a huge problem, both for products like people use animal products in medicine people mm -hmm. use yeah. it for trophies like mounts um skins furs but also for the pet trade poaching for the pet trade is a huge problem we'll meet several animals outside today that that have that same face that same problem in the wild well, we are getting we're getting pumped here yeah i have a lot of people come here that are not chill with holding snakes have you you've held a snake before mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah you catch them do i ca we mean catch them like outside no, nothing. Nothing that nothing big crazy. is around. Is around where I live. Unfortunately, we have a couple of garden snakes, but they're usually like, I don't know. They don't. Uh, actually, it's kind of weird because, like, in my in my area, um, there's a big uh, displacement of um, of frogs or, or toads. They're like in the middle of the road, like looking for clearly like moisture. And mm. I'm just like, and at night they're just like completely. Oh, that's sad. Yeah, yeah. I feel like there's like some kind of like environment confusion going on there because they're just like there's like tens of them at night just like in the road just when i walk my dog i'm like trying to steer him back to the to the grass Sad. To, uh, yeah I don't, I don't know what's going on there yeah patchy has one patchy's got one eye yeah, she's so. one-eyed lady i mean i'm also in louisiana where like you know like uh you know actual unironic gator crossings are happening like they they be out and about in the bayous and all that yeah so that's you know cool. i've gone i've gone air boating fishing Wow. All, all, that, all that jazz. So. I've never seen a gator in the wild. I've handled gators. Uh, yeah, Where's the gators at the zoo? We don't have any gators. They are out, they are out and about. Um, but what was I going about that, though? The whole uh, animal thing? Um, oh, I want to ask you. Okay, so you're going to bring up the whole pet store thing. Yes. Is there like a pet store hot take? Is there like a, is there a situation where like the commodification of pets is leading to this unfortunate side effect? Of oh, thing? for sure. Yeah. Big yeah. chain pet stores are lame as hell yeah. you go like you go buy a hamster like a betta fish or something from petco it's not it mm, definitely not it definitely not it um the care the animal care in those uh in those stores is usually pretty subpar and then also uh just the sourcing of those animals and a lot of them don't make it in transit and uh, they don't tell you how to mike is cutting out why um sorry you're good um yeah, and they sell like improper care for those animals too, so. Yeah, they just do whatever to get the transaction done. They don't. They yeah. don't do what the welfare of the yeah. animal needs. Up it's first and foremost, right? It's it's a uh, yeah. It's gnarly. Yeah, that's. Adopt, don't shop, if you will. Just make sure whatever you're I, getting I, is captive I, I, like, I will use that. Adopt, don't shop. Mm -hmm. Now, so let's say hypothetically, there's a there's a loving tryhard in my in my community that's like looking to be part of the solution, not part of the problem. Uh huh. When you say adopt, don't shop, where should they go? What the so, so not, so not, not chain pet stores, but we should yeah. be looking at like... I mean, if you're talking dogs and cats, I, I love shelters. Um, but when you're talking exotics, it's hard to adopt a snake or something like that. If you really want a reptile, like a snake or a frog as a pet, you just have to do your research and make sure that what you're buying is captive bred and not wild caught. You'd be shocked how many snakes are circulating through the reptile trade that are shipped here from Africa or from wherever they were mm -hmm. caught in the wild. And that's bad because they're, you know, they're going from the environment that they thrive in to just being deprived and kept yeah. in captivity, and it makes them probably sad and depressed. Yeah, right? you know, the first we had a different ball python when we started this, mm -hmm. started this education program. Um, it was one that was shipped from Africa to LAX, and there were a ton, like hundreds of baby snakes that were stuffed into PVC pipe, and they were shipped through cargo uh, to LAX. And so there were a bunch of little snakes that were just like shoved in pipes. And so 
California Department of Fish and Wildlife is like desperately trying to place all these snakes. So we took one of them um, and he did not make it. Uh, and I'm, I'm sure that part of him not making it had to do with having a really, really rough start as a baby snake, mm -hmm. um, just going through that insane transit to get here. Um, so yeah, the, trans the transport is really messed up. It affects wild populations, taking a bunch of snakes out of wild populations, and it's, it's scary. You know, you take a wild animal and, and put it in captivity. Uh, yeah, and that's the thing I'm, 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 I'm like, um, I hate to see here where like there's like an emphasis now on getting exotics oh, when God. you're not qualified for it or yeah. just like undermining the maintenance there. Yeah. I, I, look, I see it a lot in dogs. If, mm -hmm. I, if, I, may, if I may vent for a second here. So I walk skinny every yeah. night. No compromise. Like the, the guilt would eat me inside. Mm -hmm. She's not even barking at me to demand the walk. Yeah. She's just like wagging her tail excited because she knows we're going to walk. Yeah. I've, I've, she knows not to even be let down by the possibility of me not giving her the walk mm -hmm. every night. Right. So I, I love her unconditionally and I, I will always do that for her. And when we walk, it's the same houses with, with dogs. I hear barking because Skinny's passing by. And I'm mm -hmm. just like, I never see these owners walk their dogs. I never mm -hmm. see those dogs outside. And yeah. I'm just like, sometimes they have two dogs. Sometimes they're of decent, decent size and everything. Not even like the little chihuahuas or like actually decent sized dogs. So yeah. it's like, how do you have this dog just pent up in that house dog all day? Yeah. A lot of people have dogs in apartments. It blows my mind. I don't know how they do it. Insane. Like insane. 10 floors up or something. You have, you know, like take your dog down to pee every couple hours. And I, and I get it. It's Chad. a commitment. I get it. I get that. Like, you know, you want a companion, blah, 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 blah. And you're trying to do the best you can here. I see. I know that's a little bit more complicated, but it's also why I didn't like I didn't adopt a dog until you know until I had a house. Right. You know when I, I was when I was apartment Andy and I was you know a broke ass college student. I my mom would throw me animals all the time, and I'm like, mom, I, I live. I have three roommates in a little shit ass apartment. I can't I can't give that a loving home right now, and mm -hmm. I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to throw you know. I barely want to put a cat in, in a little you know you know whatever whatever whatever. I'd want to make sure there's space and love and all that jazz. So. Yeah. Thank you for the fifteen dollar donation. Someone asked where we should adopt hamsters from. I don't know if there are hamster rescues. I'm sure there are. Um, also, generally though, hamsters aren't really shit pets. I don't really get why it's such a thing to have a hamster. They're nocturnal. Uh, they don't really like handling. They can if you if you spend a lot of time. Then they can get comfortable with people and and like being around people. But uh, I would not recommend a hamster as a pet. Rats are cool. Rats are cool. Rats are fun pets. Um, all right, guys. I'm gonna take Patchy back. We're gonna we're gonna switch up the the vibes here, the animal yep. vibes. Thank Bye. you. Thank Bye, you. Bye, Patchy. She got gotcha. you. Mm -mm, no, we're good. Gripping you. We're good. Also, uh, this is obviously a not venomous snake. Patchy is a constrictor, and so if she's gonna eat something, um, it's or she's gonna eat something, she's gonna constrict it. That's what I'm trying to say. But she wouldn't. There's her eye. Oh. See, she's real blue. She's going to shed soon. Um, Queen. So she uh, she wouldn't constrict you unless she was going to eat you, and she can only eat something that's the width of the widest part of her body, like mm -hmm. this. So no, you're not going to get constricted by a big python in the wild, oh. and it, no, it's not going to try to eat you. What if I want to, though? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the tighter, the tighter they crazy. hold, the more they love, right? <laughs> she <laughs> loves me so much. You know, just... There you go, miss. <sighs> there you go. Thank so, you. So, um, no chat. I'm not fetish farming. I'm just, you know, I just that that's not like a kink <laughs> of mine. I'm just saying, like, you know, if if the tighter you're constricted, the more they they love you, right? You know, just uh, I'm not farming any emotes here. I'm not farming, you know, any any, you know, anime girls, no waifus, no snake girls, no monster girls. I'm not not even into that shit, honestly. So, like, calm down, Jack. Calm down. I'll be right back. All right. On that note, I'm leaving. So, um, okay. So, let me think here. What else do we have here? Um, so, yeah, I have a 20-year-old dog that misses me a bunch right now. We have uh, two cats. Um, I am a, uh, I, I was, you know, my mom was literally on a farm. Uh, I, I lived at the farm for a number of years. Animals don't bug me. You know, shit, piss, whatever. It's, you know, just nature or whatever, right? Like, um i'm 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 down to go in the brown if i have to so like if if, if I, I i was ready for anything today i just didn't know what to bring quite frankly um let me think here what else what else concerning animals here um there's this really cool thing where um uh whenever we go if so like whenever me and venom make the move um you know right now i live in louisiana but there's not really much 
Twitch content collaboration possibilities there, which is what I really, really love doing that. I'm in Texas, in Texas. So I, um, I would love to, you know, move to Texas. That'd be pretty cool. And I'd love to have, like, a yard that's more relevant to, like, animal stuff. You know, maybe a little, like, turtle pond or some something to foster more of the animals. You know, I'd, I'd, lo I'd love that if I could. So we'll see. We'll see. Pog champ, what what friends? More more friends, y'all. More friends. <laughs> more friends. We're switching gears. It's bug time. Bug time. It's bug time, I'm baby. Whoa. <laughs> look, they're eating. L look at okay, so look at this. They're roly polies. Oh. These are awesome. zebra isopods, you guys. Let me show you. They were eating zucchini. It was really cute, but now they ran away. So all right, these are zebra isopods. This is the Mediterranean version of your run-of-the-mill roly-poly. Look at this. They have stripes, and their name is Marty. They are so cool. Marty, 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 Marty. They're all Marty. They live in colonies like this because we do feed them produce, obviously, because mm -hmm. they like it, and we mm -hmm. spoil them. But... Uh, their job is to break down organic matter. So if we didn't give them all this produce, they would eat these leaves and like this, you know, and even the cork bark and break it down into soils that we can use to grow new things. Oh, okay. So I they're see. really important. Yeah, um, so a circle of life. You can hold this log if you want. Yes. <laughs> Hello. All right, I just want to grab. I don't want to, I don't want to crush any of them. There we go. No. It's a Marty party. Hooray. Oh my God. Are you a bug fan? Yeah. No, I, Excellent. bugs. Bugs don't scare me. Not, I, like I said before here, nothing's really going to, like, if they crawl on me, it's whatever. Like, it's pretty, they're also harmless. Yeah, I I'm, I'm Louisiana, so, like, mosquitoes are, like, oh, you know, I'm, I'm already at peace with uh, whatever happens here. <laughs> they can't bite. So, are, um, are like, so the ones that are not moving, are they just, like, are they asleep, or are they just, like, they're happy where they are, or, like? They're like just chilling, I think. I are. actually don't know what, if sleeping for them is, like, the same yeah, because I don't ants, know if they truly sleep. ants don't sleep, right? I ants think I think there's just some sort of like resting. Like the, I don't know. I don't, I don't think they sleep like we sleep. I don't know that for sure. No, that's that's fair. <laughs> no, they are. Their mouth is way too small to bite in any meaning. Right? Yeah, they they don't have the mouth parts to actually like bite human skin, uh, but they can chew produce. A little, mm -hmm. you know. Is that their favorite? So they they love when you throw like. like eating. They love apples and zucchini and squash and sweet potato mm -hmm. and lots of <laughs> lots of stuff like that. There are 10,000 species of isopods, by the way, you guys. Um, I love bugs. It's like my my big thing is our invertebrate yeah. program. Um, and invertebrates make up over 90 percent of the animals on our planet. Invertebrates are things without a backbone. So it's it's bugs, it's spiders, it's jellyfish, it's sea, it's coral, it's sea sponges. Um, all of that, right? There mm -hmm. are like over a million species of described invertebrates, vertebrates, like birds, mammals, reptiles, every other thing that you've seen so far today. There's what? like 45,000 species. What? There's a lot of them, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, party over here, y'all. Marty party. Amazing. Coral is uh, an animal. Yeah. So okay, um, I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to bring up all the the bad news I keep hearing about environment stability and whatnot. But uh, you brought up coral, and I I recall hearing that coral is getting like uh, assaulted mm -hmm. right now by assaulted. climate change. Like um, yeah. it's getting destroyed. There was a was it in Costa Rica or something like that? But there was like some crazy like once in one hundred year weather pattern that just like completely dehydrated or eroded mm -hmm. a bunch of coral. So what confusing where the animals need to go and it just it keeps compounding further and further. Yeah, what happens to coral, yeah, as someone said, is coral bleaching. So um, ocean acidification is something that happens when there is a lot of carbon dioxide in the air. So when we cut down trees, those trees have sequestered carbon and we cut them down, it releases carbon into our atmosphere. We release carbon into our atmosphere in lots of different ways uh, from driving our cars, from breathing <laughs> right. from you know there's lots of different ways to release carbon in the atmosphere so when there's a bunch in the air the ocean will dissolve 
more of that carbon into the ocean to balance it out. So the ocean takes up a lot of carbon, it sequesters a lot of carbon, and when there's too much carbon in the ocean, it leads to ocean acidification. The acidification of our oceans leads to the bleaching of corals, which sucks because corals are really, really important habitats for a lot of things in the ocean. You wanna see the next bug? Sure, yeah. Bye Friends all. with the Martys. Bye Martys. Martys, please keep enjoying your meal. Thank you for your time. It's like a block party you're invited to. <laughs> all right next up you're gonna do so great with these and i'm so thrilled about it because a lot of people just don't <laughs> Ooh, bigger bigger box here a bigger box bigger box chat all these right. are madagascar hissing cockroaches Ooh. <laughs> i'm strong no like uh i know most people find cockroaches uh vile Dun, dun, dun. However, I I love Wally, so I these are cool. He loves them. I love these them. These are huge roaches, huh? Yeah, they're, yeah, they're, they're this girthy. This is one of the largest species of cockroach. They are from Madagascar. Wow. Um, yeah, they can them. be like two, no. three inches. Uh, and this is Barbara. What am I thinking? I'm thinking of is it Jungle Book? Where there's like a certain like cartoon where they just they're just they're like. <laughs> Lion King. It's Lion King when Timon you know, and Pumbaa are just, they're just Lion like, King. They, they lift. Wait, what? I haven't seen it. You've never seen Lion King? No. Well, okay. Well, chat will know here. Lion King, there's like a, there's like a scene where Timon and Pumbaa, they just like lift a log and they're like, mm, juicy, <coughs> crunchy. Mm. Barbara. These, these look like them. Look, it's Barbara. Wait, Hello. look at her little face. Can you see her face? Come on, look, chat. Those. Adorable. <laughs> Adorable. Those are her eyes. You can see her little eyes. She's looking at yeah, you. you. you Isn't that add, cute? You can add an uwu, little uwu blush line across the face. and. Uh, okay, she's kind of cute, right? Mm-hmm. Look, she's looking at you. You want to hold her? Yes. So cockroaches are super important for the same reason uh, that isopods are important. They are detritivores. So they break down organic matter and make it into soils that we can use to grow new things. Okay? They... My favorite movie is Angry Birds, you're right. Uh, they're really important. A lot of people see cockroaches and they're like, yuck, dirty. Like, mm -mm. cockroaches are gross. Mm -mm. Turns out cockroaches are in your dirty space to clean it up because that's their job is to recycle organic matter. So I like to say that cockroaches are like a firefighter and they're coming to put it out. You don't get mad at firefighters for being at the site of a fire because they're not the problem. They're there to fix it. You know what I mean? Absolutely. I'm really passionate about that. Clean your room. <laughs> Can't they make you sick? Yes. Um, so some people are allergic to cockroaches. Cockroaches can also carry bacteria um, from like sewers or something into our space. Uh, and that can make us sick too. So you definitely don't want to cohabit with cockroaches. Why do cockroaches get such a bad rap? <laughs> Where did it start? I mean, I guess media. And are they really because as people see them in dirty spaces and they're like, they're dirty. So they're not really as like... It's just like an aesthetic thing, right? Like it's like it's yeah, a learned behavior, I but mean, they're, not, they're like not actually like threatening anything crazy. And infestations, people. I don't know what it's called, but when people see a lot of bugs together, they're mm -hmm. like really yucked out. They're like, eh, you know. I'm not really sure where that comes from. Yeah, it's unfortunate. It's a learn. It's a learned behavior, I think. When we see a roach sporadically, do we kill or really? I, if I see a roach every, I haven't had a roach infestation before um but when i see roaches on occasion i do take them outside i you know but i love bugs. yeah no i um so whenever we have uh any 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 friends friends mm -hmm. that come into the house like that i uh i will take a paper plate and a cup and i'll try to scoop it into the you know mm -hmm. do the whole scoop cup plate thing and then yeah. just like you know go, go in the backyard have yeah fun. yeah it's easy to Especially take bugs spiders outside. i'm um I am I am quite passionate about preserving our preserving our spiders. Spiders are so important. Um, bees bees are so important. By the way, bees mm -hmm. like um, pollinators. You know, it's, you know, actually, you'd be so proud here. I was actually really close, and I, I I'm cringe for not doing it sooner. I still want to do it here. I wanted to do like a huge fundraiser to uh, to save the bees because I know that uh, bees right now are um, um, bees are being destabilized, oh. and it's leading to uh, oh, I'm gonna go over here for you. No, we'll switch to this camera. You're good. Yeah, um, that's a great idea. Yeah, because like, bees uh, are really because important. Because if uh, if bees are not able to pollinate appropriately, <laughs> it you. cascades and affects like 
a shit ton of food chat. I'm talking like blueberries, apples, other other corresponding insects too. I mean, we're just we're just walking, we're walking, and we're going. <laughs> yeah, bees and pollinators are super important. Um, you guys ever heard of like? I don't know, like an apple blossom or something, right? Anything, any fruit that you have started as a flower uh, and the fruit comes out of that flower and we can't have any flowers without pollinators. So bees are really important. Also, butterflies are pollinators, moths are pollinators. Uh, there are some birds that are pollinators, hummingbirds, mosquitoes are pollinators. Hate to break it to you. Um, so they do something. She's moving. Yeah, she's... She's moving quick. Yeah, she's racing right now. Thank you for the... the you just sub... It's big time. Thank you for the sub there, uh, Tradkins. You know, I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all, y'all been donating so frequently. So I, I forgive me. I don't know where we're at right now, but uh, this is thank a you, baby, everyone. Barbara. Are you what? <laughs> That's Cap. Yo, production just told Space, me. Space, say it's not Cap. Eight hundred and thirty-five tryhards are out here right now. We tryhards. <laughs> I mean, oh my god. What can I? What can I? What's a dank thing I can promise them at a thousand? A like dank the, the, thing. Like the goat, the goats, the goats happen at a thousand. Uh, my goats headbutt people. Hmm? My goats headbutt people. So okay. I don't think you want to meet them. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Never mind then. Okay. You can give the chicken a bath, and by chicken I mean emu. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. Whatever idea you got. Whatever idea you got. A bath. We could take a bath with the chicken. Ooh. <laughs> that that sounds fun. <laughs> Yo, I'm, I'm running out of arms and and like <laughs> you can put I am. Get a letter in here. Barbara, thank you so much for your time. Guys, I don't need you to love cockroaches. Ooh, there You're we go. really good. People mm. get really freaked out when they move that fast. Mm -mm, not good at for all. you. Um, I'm not asking you to love cockroaches. I'm not asking you to love bugs at all. But did that make you like them just like a little bit more? Well, you right. saw her little face, isn't kind of cute? Yeah, they're, they're they're adorable. No, I I I get it. I get it. Thank you. He gets it. I I I get it. We would die. A terrible, terrible death without our invertebrates, without insects on the planet. If we all died, if humans wiped out, mm -hmm. they would thrive. They would be like, oh, this is sick. They would break down all of our bodies. Yep. They would grow beautiful new plants. The world would thrive. Yeah. If we didn't have bugs, bees, these guys, whatever, we die. Mm -hmm. So we should yeah. appreciate them. All, that's all, all the game that we hunt and eat, what do you think ultimately we're corresponding to? <laughs> Environment stability and, you know... Food chain cycles. The bugs are the basis of everything. We don't mm -hmm. have the bugs. We don't have anything else. Yeah. So the uh, I was gonna say about that here. Uh, so what's so what's going on here with the fact that like I feel like we don't there's not enough trees, right? I, th there's a, there's a thing mm -hmm. I read here about how like the modern housing developments in United States mm -hmm. are that trees are increasingly becoming a liability because they can they're just doomed to be fall over fall. and yeah. from like nature and weather and whatnot yeah so we're, we're planting less and less trees and and, and and dense urban sprawl there's no trees to be seen for a hot minute and that's leading to another consequence too mm -hmm. what, what's the, is there any any insight here on like what's going on with like our our tree ratios like and whatnot yeah deforestation is a huge huge problem Let's get into it. You guys want to hear the whole thing? When we cut, when we clear cut a whole forest of trees, mm -hmm. all of these older trees have sequestered so much carbon, right? Mm -hmm. We need less carbon in our atmosphere because when there's carbon in our atmosphere, it's a greenhouse gas and then it gets hotter, right? Mm -hmm. Less carbon, good, right? right? We cut down the trees, we s release the sequestered carbon, bad, okay? Trees also, you ever heard of evapotranspiration? Okay, plants give off moisture, which is really important. If we cut them down, they're no longer giving off moisture and they're no longer sequestering the carbon. So there's more CO2 in the atmosphere and there's less moisture, which means mass forest fires, fires everywhere, rising global temperatures, too much carbon in the atmosphere. The ocean dissolves that carbon and then ocean acidification happens. Our ocean systems crash. We're on fire. It's hot. Extreme weather events. But then we get to the next part Death. here where, like, the oceans literally can't absorb any more heat. They're, they're tapped out. So now, yep. the heat just, now the heat just lingers yep. above the ocean, yep. which is why you had the worst summer on record, chat. That's why it was so damn hot this summer. Yep. We have whales. Ahead of the projections we were fearing they're by whales. 2030. <laughs> so, like, you know, um, not to not to not to vent too hard here, but it, I'm venting. I mean, I mean, I mean y'all felt it this summer here, you know. It, it's that that's a 
It's a little concerning. It's a, little a concerning. problem. So, Whales rely on eating phytoplankton, phytoplankton like cold waters. Mm -hmm. So the phytoplankton move to get to colder waters. They have to go deeper. Um, and so the whales are having to migrate into warmer, colder waters, and they're getting in the paths of traveling ships. So whale populations are at risk. Sea turtles, when they lay eggs in the sand, the sex of the egg is determined by the temperature of the sand because they oh. lay it in a way that there's a heat gradient. And so oh. the hotter the eggs are, yeah. if the eggs are hotter, they're female. Okay. If the eggs are colder, it might be the other way around. Right, right. But one or two. If yeah, there's a gradient in a turtle so nest. So what's happening is there's like a there's an imbalanced ratio. Now it's hot. Now we only have one of the two. female turtles, right? Mm -hmm. And then yeah, hottest female. Thank you. Um, and then they can't reproduce. Right. So it's leading to population dwindling and decline. Populations dwindling. Oh no. So. Obviously, these are like this is like some like big corporation top down systemic change needs to happen here. But what can what's the good news? What what can we mere humans do uh, at at our at our level to like help be part of the solution, if anything? On the day to day, mm -hmm. um, one learning about it is really important. I think the the biggest problem is that people don't know what's going on, and True. that's a problem. And then, then the ones who who claim they do deny it's even a problem. So it's like right. it, acknowledging, <laughs> even just acknowledging this is an issue. Okay. That's Consumption one. is important. Uh, consuming less animal products, sick, right? You can still consume animal products every now and then. I get it. Like, they're cheaper. They're accessible protein, right? Mm -hmm. um, but consuming less animal products is really great for the environment. Um, consuming less palm oil is a huge thing. Palm oil leads to a ton of deforestation. That's a very complicated issue because palm oil goes by, like, 60 different names, and it's in all the products that mm. we consume. Mm. Um, but if you want to look into that and see how many of your regular products have palm oil, very cool. Okay. Um, that's a good place to start. Obviously, don't purchase exotic pets. If we're taking animals out of their wild environments and putting them in our homes, it affects those wild environments. We don't need exotic pets. Now, um, we should clarify, okay, because like, when you say exotic pet, what are we talking about here? You, If you have reptiles and they're captive bred, that's okay. Okay. But if you're getting like, if you're buying a monkey online, don't. <laughs> Wow. You don't need a monkey pet. Mm -hmm. Okay, they're not pets. Not for you. Not for you. Not for you. And then also, generally speaking, I don't think you guys are purchasing like furs and ivory um, and animal products. But uh, if you are, stop that. So I, I, I never considered a consistent criteria for w what pet would be happier in, in my captive mm -hmm. capability. I would. I just generally, and tell me if I'm wrong. I'm curious about this one. Mm -hmm. If an animal has a prosperous wild habitat that they can engage in, mm -hmm. and then I'm, I'm restricting it from that to a captive, confined environment, that's a downgrade mm -hmm. that makes them, I don't know, claustrophobic and sad. Yeah. And no, no amount of affection from a human will ever be the same as like just giving them the freedom to be prosperous in them. For sure. Right? Yeah, it's so that's, super that's, unfair. I look at it that way. If, if you can't provide something of that extent, which again, not necessarily your fault here. You know, just you know, you, you live in a house, you live in an apartment, you have like a backyard maybe here. Like, what can what can you really do, right? Yeah. So, what do you prioritize more, Chat? Your entitlement to an animal's affection, as nothing more than like the little like ten minutes a day you give it attention, or the happiness for that animal throughout its prosperous lifetime. Talk to them. So you know that that's how I would uh, that's how I would perceive it here. Um, yeah, my rule, my like general rule mm -hmm. for for pets is like, hey, we've spent how many years domesticating dogs and making them into something that they're satisfied in the care of humans. They, I mean, assuming that it's decent right. care. Right. Um, and they like being around people. It's a domesticated animal. Just get a dog. Forehead. Just get a dog. Just get, Just a, get, do a, get a cat. Get a dog. Don't get a hamster. And, 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 <laughs> you and, can get and a hamster please, chat, please chat here. Like, if I see another beautiful husky in southern Louisiana, <laughs> confined to the world's smallest yard, never walk. Huskies are so energy crazy. They they need walks. They, they are pent up balls of, of just spastic all directions here. Mm. I, 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 I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to vent for a second. I had a neighbor, beautiful husky, and I'm like, I never saw it walked. Mm. And what was crazy is it was in the backyard all the time here. So when we would pass by their yard, the husky would just sit there. And it was shockingly quiet. It mm -hmm. would just sit there and just like stare. Through the fence, like point blank, just like very still. Is it hot there? I've never been to Louisiana. Oh, it's it gets yeah, hot. Yeah, it's, it's, it's Texas part too. Yeah, it's mm. just whatever y'all feel, we feel like it's it's the same hundred five degree 
stuff we had to deal with this summer. Yep. But that husky was just like there, and I'm just like, I, I want to walk it so bad. It's yeah. Just, and it was like it wasn't even like a like a predatory stare. It was like a an envious stare. Like, Aww. oh, I want to walk. That's so I, I, sad. I smell. I smell, and I want to smell more smells. Mm -hmm. You know, just like. Aww. I don't know, y'all. It, it it breaks my heart, y'all. So you you gotta be if you're gonna be a dog owner, which is the floor here, you gotta you you gotta give your dog a walk. Your mm -hmm. dog. Think about it. Your dog. If you don't walk your dog every day, your dog is smelling these smells coming from the door, coming from you know wh whatever whatever's on you, and they're so curious of what those smells are, what's coming from. It's they're confused. It's almost like like they're they're dehydrated from sensories. Like it, it's like. Solitary confinement is what you do to punish humans, right? You are, we are social animals. You are confined to staring at the wall and just like doing nothing. It's you and your thoughts. That's a torturous tactic. You are doing almost the same thing for your captive pet. Your pet smells all these things that it could experience. It's like if you're starving, hmm, apple pie, but you can't, you can't eat it though. You're, you're salivating, you desire it, but nothing, nothing. So be part of the solution. Let me part of the problem here. Yeah, you can provide good care to a domestic animal like a dog or a cat. Um, you can never provide a wild animal with the quality of life that it would have in its natural habitat where it should exist. So if you want to get a dog, get a dog, but take care of it. Damn it. Take care of it. We're swapping to the backpack right now and we're going to go outside. So he's going to meet all the other animals. You can take this headset off and leave your clicking mic on. Okay. We'll switcheroo. Dude, we gotta do a TED talk together or something. Yeah, no, I, I hope, I hope I'm, I'm showing my street cred I'm right inspired. now. I'm inspired. No, I, I meant it when I said it. I'm gonna turn this off or like. That's fine, you're doing good. Okay. All right, are we swapped? Yes. Excellent, excellent. Um, hello, hello. Um, we're gonna go outside. You guys ready? Mm -hmm. Follow me. Thank you. Woo! I will give him, you can give him that, and I'll put this on okay. my Okay, thank you. All right. Y'all are so helpful, by the way. Productions are the goat. Hooray. Crazy production. Um, okay, wait one second. I'm going to grab something, and then okay. we're good to go. So they can hear me right now? Yep. Oh, Chad, this is this is like so fun. This is like so. Hello. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm trying to think of like, what else can I even say right now? This is such a euphoric Collab experience. Collab, Chatty. This is oh, like right there. why I think Actually like blind. this is why I Twitch streaming is so toast fucking thing, cool dang it. because like I forgot to do toast. I thing. get to show y'all another side of toast myself target. with my passions that I never got to demonstrate. Poor toast. Maya's already living, breathing example of the things I wish to to do more of. So cool, so very very cool, y'all. So they, they, I want to thank y'all again. I I'm. I was actually kind of scared that we Did were going to. I interrupted your speech. I think because oh. they heard me. Oh, I'm oops. sorry. Oh sorry. <laughs> sorry. Whoopsie. Well, I just want to thank y'all again for the the donos so far. Um, don't think that it's only success because we're uh, we're we're sniping goals here. Y'all just being here right now to just hear the the passions and the um, you know and the the enthusiasm already means a lot to me for real for real. Okay, so what you what you got now? Follow me. Follow me. We're gonna start down here and then we're gonna work our way up. Have you ever met a parrot? Um. I, I'm gonna say no, probably not. Really? Fun. I think I think uh, parrots are the ones uh, like parakeets. Parakeets are parrots. Okay. Parakeets I, are parrots. Macaws are parrots. Cockatoos. Cockatiels. Um, what's okay? This is kind of a cringe question. What's the one that like imitates speech and whatnot? A lot of them do. A lot of them do. We okay. have two that talk, um, two that do not, uh, but the two that do not are capable of speaking. Okay. I had yeah. a friend that had that had one. It was quite elderly, um, but I didn't know. If, I didn't know if it was like being taken care of well. I couldn't. I couldn't it's hard to take care of parrots. I always wondered about that. Like, if you have like a if you have a bird that's captive, yeah. Um, do you, does it need to like fly around regularly to like? It's like one of those things where like you know if it's domesticated, it will lose the desire to want to fly. Or yeah. Whatever, or like, um, we have one parrot in here that is, okay, we have three that are flighted, so they're mm -hmm. capable of flight. One of them uh, isn't really capable of flight because she's permanently missing tail feathers. Okay. Um, but two of them just don't really fly. We're teaching them how to fly right now because they've been in captivity their whole lives. Mm -hmm. uh, one of them does fly. It really depends on the individual bird, though, on how much they're going to want to do that. But okay. parrots make really, really challenging pets, like you were saying. Mm -hmm. um, 
I have oh, to tell you about the... Oh, they know. She said hello. Hello? hello? Who's in there? This was uh, the first enclosure that was built here. Um, this is a parrot aviary. So, um, parrots make really challenging pets because they can live 50 to 60 years, sometimes even older than that, 70 years. Um, <laughs> there's a rooster over there. Uh, and they can chew through wood. They have really, they're really strong. Like they can bite really hard. They can chew through wood and they can scream at like 125 decibels, which is above. Yeah. One time I was like double that. Loud as hell. Like double that of a lawnmower, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. just below the threshold for pain, just above the threshold for hearing loss from prolonged exposure. So we'll hope that they don't scream today when we're in here, but who knows? Cause who it's knows? siren. All right. Hello, Oliver. Hello, Siren. What? She said hello, Mama. I, 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 I thought that was another staff member. No. I. Miss Siren. Hello. Who's here? Who's that? Um. Okay, over there. You're looking at Siren and Mia. Siren. Siren and Mia, hello. Hello, Siren, and hello, Mia. Mia is an African gray. This is probably the one that you think of when you think of when you think of uh, parrots talking. Right. African grays are really smart and have the potential to have a really large vocabulary. Right. Mia makes it. I'm speaking. Mia. <laughs> is that funny? What's so funny? Mia makes a lot of sound effects. Like she does a lot of the birds in the area. Um, she'll do like a microwave beep and like a truck backing up and whatever that is. And then Siren does a lot of talking. Can you say hello? Can you say hello? Oh. Already a mouthful though. Can you say hello? Hello. That's nice. Hello. She said hello. Um, she likes to sing a little bit too. Mia, you want to come over here? I'll give you this one. Hello, birdie. Hello, birdie. <laughs> They're really handy with yeah. their with their feet and their mouth. Um, that's an almond in shell. A lot of people don't know what an almond looks like, like inside the shell. <laughs> What's wrong? So you don't so want to eat it right now. Oh, not hungry right now. You think, I don't or? know. I think she's just confused. <laughs> what doing? What are you doing? So, a lot of people see parrots online, they see videos of them like talking, dancing, and they're like, I want one. Same with the snakes. People do take a lot of parrots out of the wild for the pet trade. Um, so that's a problem. And then the other problem is they get parrots and it's like having a two-year-old that can chew through wood and break skin and cause hearing loss for 60 years, which just uh, isn't something that most people can handle. And so a lot of parrots end up in rescues. Uh, there are very few people that can, can commit to a parrot for their lifetime as a pet. So I generally do not recommend these pets. Yeah, I was going to say, I feel like it's, um... Hello. I'm just thinking about how, like, mobile, a, like, I guess, like, a non-domestic, any kind of bird would be. And it's mm -hmm. like, anything, like, short of this just sounds like you're just, like, throwing it, like, in the world's most depressing fishbowl. Yeah, a lot of people have birds in really small cages. Real, like, in yeah, houses. Like... Mm -hmm. Hi. Can you sing, Mommy. maybe? She sings happy birthday. It's not very good. Okay, it's really good. Siren, can you sing happy birthday? Hello. Can you Hel sing? Hello. Can you sing? Hello. Happy birthday. Hello. Birthday. Hello. Birthday. Hello. Happy birthday to you. She's not going to sing happy birthday. Usually, um, it's her favorite thing to do. Mm -hmm. But not today. Happy birthday. birthday. <laughs> Did you hear it? Yeah. Birthday. Yeah. <laughs> okay, they hate the almonds. Um, so this is Mia and Siren. Sorry, Siren is a blue-fronted Amazon. Mia is an African gray. And then over here, these ones are wow uh, a lot. <laughs> They're a lot. These are macaws. Um, you want to see how they, strong? They are beautiful. Beautiful, right? Oh, they're so beautiful. You want to see how strong their beaks are? Yes. You can have a competition with Tico. This is Tico. Tico's a blue and gold macaw. I'm going to give you this pecan. <gasps> okay. And you can go against Tico and how fast you break it. One, two, three, go. So it's quite... <laughs> I... Tico's giving you a head start because she's cocky. Jesus. Embarrassing. I can't, I can't get it. She cracked it. it. Like... <laughs> 
like it's nothing. <laughs> Yo, Their getting... beaks are really strong, wow. yeah. you guys. I can't. I can't even penetrate it. Good job, Tico. Embarrassing. He loses. Yeah. Um. Sorry, y'all. Soy. Soy and Chad. <laughs> soy. Soy. You know, I'm. I'm. I'm SpongeBob when he's working out with the two, with the two uh, teddy bears for uh, for bench pressing. <laughs> Just like, yeah. I'm. I'm, I'm Is that, oh wait, we never did our. Oh, we got to do a push-up contest. Um. Oh. Okay. That that will be the one thousand dollars snipe right there. We'll do a push-up contest. Um. And I will win. Because he what, said he can only Chad, do like what, 45. What are we at right now here? What are we at on the, um, when we snipe 1,000 total, which remember, I'm still going to, I'm still throwing another uh, 200 here. It's so um, nice. Uh, yeah. Put Nine, tw we're Nine 25 dollars Y'all, y'all are That's crazy. That is, I was so scared we weren't even going to hit 200, y'all. Y'all are, y'all are blowing me away. Thank you so All much. All right, push-up contest. He said he can only do, uh, 45 push-ups, so... Um, only 45? Only 45. Only 40. So we'll see how it goes. Oh, man. I, di I didn't know 45 was unimpressive. It's going to be close. I didn't, the standards are so high here. Okay. <laughs> Miley is a Catalina macaw. She's a hybrid between this type and the red, like, parrot bird, you know. Um, so she was born in captivity. She is a surrendered pet. So someone had her as a pet, and they were like, I can't do this, which is very common for people that have parrots as pets. Tico, blue and gold macaw. Tico was dropped off, hello lovely, Tico was dropped off in a box outside of an SPCA, so like the animal shelter uh, in California. Someone like put her in a box and they were like, take it, because they couldn't handle having her in uh, their house either. So and these two are pair bonded. Let me ask this question here. So, um, Hi, so I see like the, uh, it almost looks like pillow stuffing exuding from the chest cavity. Oh, hello, hello. <laughs> yeah, sorry, my hand was like um, staring at my hand. She, yeah, she will bite you if you get close enough. So, um, yeah, those are just feathers that are coming back in. Um, Tico okay. overgrooms a little bit. Uh, some parrots have issues with plucking, something that only happens in captivity. Um, I see. But when they're anxious or stressed out or stuff is going on, my, uh, Mia used to have a really bad plucking problem. When we got Mia, she was completely bare chested, like she had no feathers on her chest. Mm -hmm. uh, and now they've grown back quite a bit. That's nice you're showing them. Thank you. Um, so. It's a problem that we're constantly fighting with things like toys and enrichment. Check this out. Over here, mm -hmm. they haven't gotten to this yet, but the parrots get enrichment every day. You're okay. talking about your dog walks are enrichment, right, right, for your dog. It's stuff that they need. So in the wild, parrots are going to be foraging for food, like in trees and getting nuts out of places and stuff. And so we give them toys so they can engage in natural behaviors, but obviously it will never be anything close to what they would have access to in the wild. Understandable. So, Super unfortunate. We obviously would love to see these birds in the wild. All of the animals we have at Alveus, by the way, are non-releasable for a variety of reasons. These ones were born in captivity, don't know how to take care of themselves. Um, and then we have other animals. We'll go through all their stories as we walk around. Okay. But, yeah, these are the parrots. Um, gaming is my enrichment. It's enrichment. Yeah. Yeah, that totally counts. Nice. Um... Do you guys have any oh, questions I, about the parrots before we man, leave? I'm seeing an emu. Is oh, that, yeah. Is that I'm That's the chicken. I, I, I recognize. Big I, I, chicken. Mm -hmm. Exciting. Big chicken. Big no, chicken. They're, uh, they're cool. They're awesome. They look significantly huh. happier than the ones I've seen as pets in captivity. I'm happy they have a happy home. I don't know why Siren's being so quiet. She's usually really loud. Huh. Would you like to sing? Can you sing happy birthday? Nothing. Nothing. Crickets. Nothing. Nothing, y'all. Crickets. Oh, you oh, hit 1K. We just sniped one. I don't want to do anything. I don't want to start with the birds here, but 1K. 1K. All right, so yeah, now. Uh, Should we do a push up? I think we can do it here. I don't think it'll bother them. Oh, man. Okay, okay. So. Um, How do we do this? So, so you called me out for 45. Yeah. And you said you can do a mean three? Is that you said? Three? No, actually, I maxed out at four the other day. Ma okay, four. Four. All right, well, show me. Show that me was the other day. We gotta go at the same time. Okay. Should we just go here? Let's go here. So Wherever we can be next to is. each other. All right. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. All right, whoever does the most push ups win, chat. Ready? Ready. Set. Set. Go. <laughs> Five, right? Was that almost five? Okay, one second. 
30. I was 30? <sighs> yeah, I was 30. That's not funny, Siren. That's messed Just up. Just need to see a second, because, like, the surface is, like, pretty hard. It's a little bit easier when I have, like... Is she pretending, you asshole? <sighs> no, I'm so serious. I, I can't do more than that. You should be impressed that I can do that many. I feel like that's impressive. What the hell? 40. Give me one second. Sorry, I did like... What the heck? I ran like two miles this morning and did a... Did some chest in the gym. Sam. You know what I mean? You ran two miles this morning? Yeah. Sam. Yeah. If you ever... I don't know if you've seen, I, uh, I play DDR on the dance pad. Dance, dance revolution. Yeah, yeah. I play that, like, high level. Uh, my chat knows I'll do, like, 1,000 calorie workouts in, like, 90 minutes. Pretty crazy. You know 43. you won, right? 44. 45. Ugh. All right. <sighs> well. <sighs> wait. <sighs> All right. You guys want to see my... I could my... do more, but, like... Good Lord, I was... Birthday! Are you, are you... Are you a fan? Birthday! Birthday! Chad, look at this. <clears throat> it's pretty good, right? Uh, solid. <laughs> What's that copy of pasta? Solid. Thick. Keep it up. I don't know that one. <laughs> oh, my God. So, please. Someone in the chat, please throw the pasta at me here. I don't have it memorized. You guys like her happy birthday? She did it. It was really good. That was really good, Siren. Thank you. Birthday. Wow. All right. You want to go see the chicken? Absolutely. I keep saying that. I need Bye, to. It's an email. Goodbye, parrots. Happy Thank birthday. you very much. Happy birthday. Birthday. Also, do I? You want to put the, uh, this oh, and that? Yeah. yeah. You can just throw it in here. All right. Do I have to do this one? There you go. I'm cringe. I'm not operating. No, it. nobody knows how to do that. You're fine. Awesome picks. Great size. Look thick, solid, tight. Keep us all posted on your continued progress with any new progress picks or vid clips. Show us what you got, man. Want to see how freaking huge, solid, thick, and tight you can get? Thanks for the motivation. There you go. That was for you. But not, but organically. I made that up. Oh, no, that's. 100%. All right, to the pa Oh, we have chickens. Um, yes. We have three chickens. He loves chickens. He knows the chickens. Um, we have the chickens to teach people about food labels. Uh, my, my quick and to the point thing about the chickens is if you can look for pasture-raised certified humane mm -hmm. eggs, that is a, a label. Um, we might be able to throw that up on screen. If you look for this label on your eggs, it is the only label in the U.S. anyway uh, that pretty much guarantees that they're actually pasteurized, like what you would expect. Yes, Chad, when you see open, what's the term that they, they BS now? It's open range. Cage free. Cage free and open range. Like open range technically means it can be some like really shitty cage with like a literally a five foot by five foot perimeter for like 1,000 chickens. It's actually really cringe. <laughs> the exploitation on, on chickens is terrible all around. Yeah. Um, some have even have been... I believe it was cheaper to feather them alive oh, than to I don't kill know them. about that. I mean, I, oh, this I was out. This was outlawed. This was like okay. thankfully that that was like outlawed like see them? over a decade ago. I'll give you a speech with the chickens. But yeah, they're like, I just I hate how needlessly torturous. I don't know what to call it. It's it's nothing more than just torture porn. They just like Hi. cheaper and cheaper and cheaper, but with no ends in sight. They're our friends. Hello, chickens. She's molting. Don't worry about her. She doesn't usually look like that. <laughs> okay. Do you want to feed good. them? Yes. Oh my God. Yes. Mealworms. They're dried. Uh, that doesn't, doesn't bother scare. you anyway. No, 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 no. So Oliver, you, you, you want to just out, out of my hand? Them. Yeah. Hello. Mealworms. For you. Hello. Yeah, they do kind of like. <laughs> no. <it doesn't>... <laughs> Pinchy. <laughs> um, crazy the, fact about buff, chickens, buff you guys. Town. The. Uh, the closest wild relatives to our domestic chickens is red jungle fowl. Um, it's basically like a chicken that lives in the jungle. They lay like 12 eggs a year because they're two laying seasons like a normal bird. Our commercial layers will lay between 200 and 300 eggs a year. And that is all just artificial selection to like make laying machines because we want eggs. Um, 
So if you are going to eat eggs, look for that certified humane label. It is more expensive, and that might just mean eating less what eggs. About that, um, what about this hormone thing I'm hearing about now? We're like... They're done with hormones to like to grow. Make them larger, yeah, they grow faster. to six months of size mm-hmm. in under three weeks, yeah. and they're so fat mm-hmm. or like they're so disproportionately like grown that they can't even support their own body weight. Their legs are too yeah. to support their own. Yeah. So they're like they're like essentially we're making like, like monstrous. Yeah, they're just like paralyzed. Just for meat, we're breeding right? meat. Yeah. They live like t- uh, completely. That's all, ma'am. You go. Yeah, they're just like Chad. It's 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 so sad because they're like. They're literally grown to where they are paralyzed from the from the waist up, essentially. So cute. They, they they lack any mobility, and they just like sit down all day, and then they just become like fat and unhappy, and then they get killed. And they yeah, and pumping sometimes them again, sailing. sometimes until this was exposed, feathered alive, because it was cheaper to do that first before killing them. Someone asked about chicken molting. Uh, it's kind of like. Reptile shedding, like we were talking about earlier, uh, she'll just let go of old feathers and regrow new ones. Uh, that's why it looks like she exploded or was struck by lightning. But she's just molting. <laughs> she just looks like that. That's Henrique. This is Nugget, and that's Oliver. Okay. So what's their story for being here? Why are they uh, in need of rescue? Um, Henrique joined us. She was our neighbor's chicken. She was free range, but she just came to live here to add to our flock. Nugget was bullied in California by a flock of chickens and had to live by herself and chickens mm-hmm. can't live by themselves. That's how okay. we got her. Oliver was placed in a reject rooster cage at a feed store. So someone raised him with a bunch of other chicks wanting hens because they wanted eggs in their backyard. But then he turned out to be a boy, so they gave him back to the feed store. Um, and I got him for five bucks. <laughs> nice. Nice. Yeah. Oh, awesome. All right, let's go see the chicken. Let's do it. The big chicken. Big chickens. The big chicken. Stompy. Stompy the Stompy. Name? There he is. So I gotta ask you about the elephant in the room here. Okay. Gotta ask you about the, the emu emu girl who went viral. Oh yeah. Um Emus are on the map is, now. Uh, emu stonks are at all time high. Oh you see the Oh wait, stonky. are you talking about the one with Karen? Yeah. Oh, yeah, she's got, it's like Useless Farm or something is her tag. Yeah. Um, she's got a couple emus. Some of them are nice and some of them are like really, really mean. Stompy's really nice, so you don't have to worry. No, he lo- looks, it looks adorable. Chat, already, ar- already smiling at us here, just like, oh, company? He's a nice guy. Come here, chicken. Stompy was the first, you can leave it, leave it out there. Okay. Um, Stompy is the first ambassador that we got at Alveus. Uh, he is two years old. And he's an emu. Hey. It's an Australian bird, an Australian ratite. Uh, ratite is the family. So ostriches, emus, cassowaries, uh, they are flightless birds. And he's really oh. nice and he oh. likes hugs. He's so oh, nice. The, the under eyelid going <laughs> up. <laughs> he's so cute. Oh my god. He's a really sweet bird. So, uh, Stompy we got from a zoo in California. His mom wouldn't sit on his egg, so it was incubated. And uh-huh. then he was raised by people. You can pet him. You can hug him. You can hang out. I come in peace. So I can just, like, come right here. Yeah. Come to the side. I'm in your view. And pet. Yeah. Here? Yeah. <laughs> He's nice. A hug. Yay, chicken. Sometimes he likes to put his head over your shoulder, but you're mm-hmm. taller than me. So I think that's what he's trying to do with your arm. A hug, chicken. That's nice. Aw, he's so nice. You guys are friends. Friends. <sighs> so, emu meat. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you guys have heard of this. Emu meat was a really popular alternative to red meat up until, like, the 90s. Um, and so there were lots of emus that were farmed for meat. Their, popu- their wild populations weren't affected, but Stompy is an ambassador uh, to talk about the exotic meat trade as a whole because there are a lot of species that are affected by it. Stompy also ate my ring. This one? Oh, just like ate it? Yeah, when he was 14 or 16 days old, uh, he was like watermelon size. Oh. He was like this big, mm-hmm. like little So did baby you have bird. to like... Endoscopy. Him... Yeah, he's had two endoscopies. The first one was they fished out this ring and then... The second one was they fished out like a hex bolt and a paint lid cap. <laughs> he likes rings. Didn't Australia lose to them? You know about the emu war? Uh, no. 
In 1932, <laughs> um, Australian farmers were given a bunch of land after the war. That's so nice. And emus were an agricultural pest, so they would come in on their land and uh, eat all their crops. Uh, and so farmers didn't like that, and they were like... They had a minister of agriculture in Australia, but they went to the minister of defense instead, and they are like, we got to go to war. And the minister of defense was like, yeah, we do. And then gave them permission to go out with machine guns and try to cull emu populations. She's like, she's not used to the beard. I think she was like wanting to, he was wanting to explore your beard. Oh, okay. It's not like a, it's like a, No, 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 like I, I, just didn't, I didn't know what to, uh, what to do. So I just played on, so the, fair. On, on precaution. It's just like exploratory pecking. Um, so, uh, they let them go out with machine guns to try to cull emu populations, but they can run 30 miles an hour. Whoa. Um, and so they quite literally just outran the machine guns. They I was used... going to say, yeah, it's like a, I mean, your, your top athlete human can do like 13 to 18 miles an hour. Is that right? it? Yeah, I could do more than that. Well, like marathon runners can maintain like 13 miles an hour. Oh my so gosh. So I'm just kind of giving some context for like the, the scale here. Like, like chat, you're not going to outrun an emu. You're, you're, you're just, uh, that's a... Yeah, they dodged a bunch of bullets. They used so much ammo trying to cull emu populations that they called off the war, and that's why people say emus won. So Stompy won. Oh, that Stompy's reminds fast. me. Okay, okay. All right, some more animal lore. I love your insight on Maya. Uh huh. So tell me, do you know about the situation where um, I think it was like in rural Colorado, um, uh -huh. where the deer population was out of control, so they chose to like import like ten predatory wolves like 10 years ago. Oh my gosh. And then the wolves like totally ruined, or I said, quote, like well, humans did it, but like the wolves like overhunted the deer. Yeah. And then the wolves overpopulated. And now that environment is like so unstable because of these, like this wolf problem. I don't know about that particular one. I, I think that my staff up there that you met earlier yeah. could probably give you some insight Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't know the name of a chat. There's like a really, uh, there's a really dank Wikipedia Show his article. wing. You want to see Stompy's wing? Sure. Stomp. Stomp. Stop. I might be getting to say wrong. It might not be. It Look. might not be uh, Colorado, but it, it's, it's it's somewhere, and it was like in the last ten years. It's like it's, it's still an claw. online problem now. Wing claw, dinosaur chicken. You see that claw on his wing? Ooh. Isn't that crazy? Oh. Dinosaur. Yeah. Didn't didn't we recently learn that not only <gasps> not only okay. were uh, T Rexes. Feathered. Feathered. But they didn't roar. They more, they did the, uh, what was the sound? They, they oh, did? you should hear, st dude, have you, have you ever heard emus vocalize? No. It's so crazy. Stompy does like a really low guttural growl and it's very dinosaur-y, but female emus make a drumming sound and it sounds echoey and it's like, it literally sounds like a giant drum coming from inside. <laughs> That's crazy. Them. It's so crazy. Um, but yeah, dinosaur, the, this is a dinosaur. Birds are dinosaurs. All of our modern day birds, over 10,000 species, mm -hmm. all descended from theropods, which is a type of dinosaur that had two legs and three toes. Two legs, three toes, three toes. I'm showing them your toes. He's like, stop touching my toes. I remember now, it was that they, they were feathered and they did not roar like you see in Jurassic Park. They squawked. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. so T Rex is actually squawked, which now some people online are mad because they're like, no, uh, T Rexes were, were, they were masculine and, and ferocious. And it's like, and sorry, they're like, to, <laughs> sorry, bro, they squawked and they were feathered. <laughs> Follow the yeah, science. Yeah, Stompy's a dinosaur. If you compare Stompy's skeleton, skeletal structure to that of a theropod, um, terror bird, if you will, look up terror bird skeleton, then look up emu skeleton, they are the same. You gonna, follow, you gonna come with us? The same. Yeah, oh, he, he probably will. Always coming, of course. Big ducks. All right, over here, we have four more friends. Friends. One of them is Winnie the Moo. <laughs> Winnie. Chat. What are you doing? I just did a pun, and y'all you know we have a pun tax here, so I need someone to cover. I need a ten dollar dono for that pun right now. A pun tax. Every pun that Maya does, I need ten dollars. Oh from shit! I wish I had more puns. Damn it! This is Winnie the Moo. You can pet her. She's amazing. She's a cow. Oh, oh. That's my horse. Don't worry about him. He's not a part so of this. So pet. <laughs> yeah, you can pet her just wherever. Pet. You can pet her on her neck. Um, actually, you can brush her. She loves being brushed. She's being brushed. Okay. Want to spell me? Baby cow. Winnie 
uh, is a red Angus beef cow. We got her from a beef operation in Oklahoma. She really likes being scratched like this mm. under her neck. Okay. If you want to do that, you okay. can give her a little scratchy like, scratch. Like this? Winnie, mm. so nice. <laughs> she is thrilled. So... We got her from a beef operation in Oklahoma. Uh, she is now past the point where she would have been sent off for slaughter. Uh, she was going to be a beef cow. Uh, but now she lives here, and we talk to people about the beef industry. Mm -hmm. Beef industry is a huge problem, mm -hmm. um, not just because of the animal welfare problems that come with it, but a lot of deforestation happens to make room for cattle operations. Mm -hmm. We now know why deforestation is bad, because we talked about it. Mm -hmm. um, and down there. Um, and cows produce a ton of methane. So I don't. Did you hear her kind of like burp there? Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, I, actually, I learned this here that the one of the largest sources of uh, unspoken yeah, methane um, accumulation comes from agriculture. Yeah. And yeah. at the level we do it right now, it's, it's so unsustainable. It's unsustainable. It's Chad. really bad. Yeah. What do you know? Um, the earth might not be able, not may not be built to, to um, retain eight billion humans. Mm -hmm. Um. You know, Especially maybe we are, maybe we're over as much beef as we do. Maybe we're over consuming our resources. Yeah. Oh, whoa. So Winnie, big cow, right? Mm -hmm. 700 pounds, maybe. I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, she only eats like hay and grain, but can sustain this huge body. It's because she's a ruminant. So she has several stomachs and she draws nutrients out. Of, will you leave me alone? She draws nutrients out of grass that we can't do because we don't have the stomach microbes for it, but she does. And when she's doing that digestive process, a byproduct of the digestion is methane. It's a gas. It's a greenhouse gas. So then she digests what she's eating, she burps, and she farts, and she releases methane into the environment, which is fine as a natural process, but we do it at an unnatural rate. That's why it's not fine. Will you? I'm busy. I'm busy. But mom... I've had him since I was 12. He's not even a part of the sanctuary. <laughs> he just lives here because I live here. Uh, of course. Um, so he's like a, a pet. I burp and fart too. Yeah, but you're not a ruminant, so you're not releasing methane. She is. So literal she, cow farts, she yes. She loves this right now. Mm. So beef is definitely, like in terms of, in regards to environmental impact, the, the hardest on the environment. If you are going to consume meat, uh, more poultry has a way lower um, carbon footprint than beef does. Acero, if you don't leave me alone, I'm gonna put you in a corner. I can't do that, he's too big. So they all get along? Yeah, they do. Um, actually, she used to be mean to the cow, now the cow kind of pushes her around. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Um, I love it when the animals are not aware of how big they are. Um, <laughs> at one point, my mom had uh, two Great Danes. Uh -huh. And they were so clumsy and didn't know how big they were. And the cats would just, like, terrify them. And they would just, like, trip over their own oversized okay. legs and run away. I'm going to trade you that brush for these. Okay. And, and then you can take them to the donkeys. And I'm going to distract the horse. So we have two donkeys as well down there. Um, sorry, I was, hand I was focusing on handing you carrots, and I didn't hear what you said. Your mom what? My mom had, my mom had two Great Danes. Yes. Um, and the with the cats outside and the, the Great Danes would routinely just like stumble over their own oversized legs yeah. running away from the cats. <laughs> they were like, you know, five times bigger than the cat. Yeah, and then you have the opposite problem with little dogs that are like, think they're huge. Um, yes, yes. Okay, we have two donkeys. So Donkey. one's over there. We'll see this one. Uh, this is Serrano. We got them from uh, Kilpen uh, in Central Texas. So... People send off donkeys and other livestock to go to be made into traditional medicine products um, or to be made into pet kibble. Um, if you want to walk over here okay. and then hold out the carrot and see if he'll come be your friend. Uh, they didn't have a ton of human contact before we got them. We got them in May of 2021. You want a carrot? So they've come a really long way. A lot of people don't know... Um, there's a product in traditional Chinese medicine, oh, it's so nice, <laughs> called a zhao. Um, it is go. what happens mm. when you boil donkey skin. Um, it's Thank made you. into a gelatin that they think is a cure-all for a lot of things. And so they've used a lot of wild donkeys to make the gel. You can try to pet him if he'll let you. That's so nice. He's so brave. Um, 
wild donkey populations in Botswana have plummeted by 40%. Uh, and it's gotten, the demand has gotten so high that they're shipping donkeys out of the U.S. Um, and a bunch of other countries to go into that trade to be made into Ijao. More carrots for Serrano. He has gotten way braver. Oh, God. Chad, look behind you. Quick. <laughs> I think this is the last one. Yeah, give him that. You want carrot? You don't like carrot. There you go. Yeah, that's there what I go. thought. You can come to you can come to my sh uh, my swamp. Do you want a part of it? Do you want a piece? Carrot, yum. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, he ate it. Carrot. Stompy doesn't usually like. <gasps> He's oh, eating the carrot. Stompy he doesn't usually carrots. like produce. Also, like um, mm, shocker, shocker. He wants more carrots. Sorry, buddy. Oh my god, Stompy just ate a whole carrot stick. I so, have never. Not normal. Usually. No, not. Stompy is. Usually cringe about eating his vegetables. Okay, so you and Serrano are friends. That's very nice. Yeah. You ever pet a donkey before? Mm -mm. Well, I mean, petting zoo like a hundred sure. years ago. No, but not a <laughs> hundred years ago. No, we didn't have a. Again, on my, on my grandpa's farm, it was a. Uh, it was pigs, cows, chickens, Hi. hens. I'm trying to think what else here. Um, I think that was it. I mean, it was like a I shitload of animals. Like, it was a lot of those three things we took care of. So. A little cow. All right, that's the pasture. You want to go see some, some other guys? Wow, yeah. Yeah, this is like. Chow the chicken. I love the size, too. I love it, like, just. <laughs> this is like, what? how big is the pasture? Like, what, like a. Oh, I don't like actually a... know. I feel like. It's probably less than, maybe it's two acres? Yeah, no, a little less. Definitely over an acre for sure. A little less than two acres? Yeah, this is great though. That's a good cow. This is great. Let me ask you this, okay. So, uh, oh, they're more, mad. Lore, more lore about the sanctuary. Yeah, they so want to see a chicken. How did bath. you get to this point? How did you like. How did I get to this point? I yeah, bought the like, property. Did you already have this when you, were, when you started streaming? or this? Is no, like, no, no, no. This was possible because you streamed. It's possible because I streamed. I bought the property myself uh, in March of 2021. Mm -hmm. um, and so I put in all of the money that I had made from streaming between 2019 and 2021 into buying this property. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I was like out of money. <laughs> right. like I used all the money that I had. Um, all, all in chat. All yeah. In. And then I did a big capital campaign fundraiser for Alveus. Um, that's when I shaved my head. Did you see that? I did see that, yeah. Yeah, so I shaved my head because uh, we raised $500,000. Um, and then that money went into the startup costs. So, like, I bought the property, but then the capital campaign fundraiser led us to building the fencing, building a couple enclosures, uh, and it's just kind of built out from there. So is there any, um, like, I guess, like, what's the, what's the, so obviously we're funding, the, the tryhards are contributing to the maintenance and the, and the, uh, the yeah. Cost. Yeah. But is there, are we there yet? Is this, is this like, is there like another thing you want to do? So or, many, or this, yeah. Huh? So many things. So many things. There's, I mean, we'll keep expanding until, uh, as long as like our space and staffing permits, you know? Gotcha. It's not for you. No, it's wonderful. Um, so yeah, we just plan on rescuing more animals, doing more education, teaching as many people as possible. Stompy, your splash pad is filthy. Like, so what are, so what are we doing dirty. here? So we're filling, we're filling this, uh... It's like a sprinkler, so it all goes inward. Um, he loves water. It's his splash pad, but it takes a while to fill up. I see. Chat, stand by. Did you hear that? Yep. That was Stompy's quick. crazy dinosaur noise. Chat, do you hear that? <laughs> the water... <laughs> it's not enough water yet. No, I have a soft spot. Emus are so cool because they're so expressive. Yeah, they're very, they're like animatronic. It's yeah, such it's a like. Weird looking animal. It's like, it's like a dog bird. That's, that's how I would, I would put a it. A dog here. bird. You're like a dog bird. It's you. Oh, yeah. This is his favorite song. Wait, 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 what? This is his favorite song.
I'm gonna sad story because I'm not here to like, I don't want to like make that a sad <laughs> thing. It's more like a, here's the future if we support your cause. You know? Yeah, um, a few things. Well, okay, so we pick animals. So it is a sanctuary, but also our main goal is education. Mm -hmm. And so like last year, you know, Tico's a blue and gold macaw. Yeah. I was offered six or seven additional blue and gold macaws that needed a home. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I have one and that's all I need to do the education to talk about her. Uh, and to like, you know, spend, drop like 30, 40, 50 grand for the enclosures to keep another six or seven just didn't make sense for us. So that's an example. Um, we've been offered gators before. Uh, and we just don't have the, the liability having a gator is crazy yeah. uh, and we don't have the experience on our animal care staff to have a gator um, we would love to do vultures down the road Oh. Um, and we do have the experience for that across our animal care staff and they have a really important conservation story so we'll do vultures um, I would love to do lemurs oh, um, that'd be sick. yeah lemurs are very cool we have a couple monkeys Go meet them after Stompy Splash Pad time. Yeah, I am. Um, Cause see, here's the, another thing I'm so passionate about is that I, uh, I wanted to cover this on my stream at some point, but I never got around to it yet. But uh, there was a study done that I that caught my attention that said that um, at our current rates right now, we're looking to if if the current like what's the word here. Like meat production facilities mm -hmm. and all that continue to operate at the current status. Yeah. In the next thirty years, all biodiversity will will drop in population by fifty percent. Fifty percent. I haven't heard that one. Yeah, it's. Uh, I have to look up again here, but it was it was something re like really really alarming. Like yeah. our biodiversity is depleting at an incredibly unnatural rate. That is true. Yeah. Yeah. Something like um, that. Like really. really we bad. lose species every day that we don't even know exist. <laughs> Yeah, I heard about that. There was a, God, what was it? It was some, some place like, uh, I want to say that next to Madagascar where just like humans mm -hmm. have not been yeah. like at a, at a palatable rate. And we're just seeing so many like thousands of new insect species and uh -huh. whatnot that we've just never even identified. Yeah. Like scientifically. We've lost so many that we didn't even know were there. Yeah. It's crazy to think about. That's a happy chicken. Um, yeah, animal agriculture is a huge, huge problem, for sure. Happy, happy, happy. Happy, happy chicken. Yes, emu ranth. It's weird how much Stompy loves water. I oh, does, had yeah, a lot. does the average emu not like water as much? I think they do, but I don't know. Stompy loves it. Um, also, I've worked with a lot of different bird species. Mm -hmm. I've never one that loves water like Stompy does chicken also never one that's as cuddly as stompy is he really just like loves affection and hugs not many birds are like that they do the zoo i work at have sprinklers yay okay well, the emus do love water the emus at the zoo i used to work at were fine with it but didn't care about it all right stomp nice turn and, off nice the splash cool pad now. we're gonna go see the monkeys <gasps> Monkeys. Let's go see the monkeys. Watch your head. Oh man, I thought we were. I thought we were done. Okay, no. no. Awesome. No, this is, that's 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 a that's an awesome problem. That's why I asked if you had anything to do today, and I was like, oh, we'll just take our time. Um, we're halfway through the outside portion. Wow. Yeah, we got a ways to wow, go. Wow, that's absolute pog. <laughs> okay, monkeys. okay. So I guess I, ha I have to ask then. Yes. You know, monkeys, gorillas, apes, yeah. orangutans. Okay, I gotta find the memes here. How from one to ten, how traumatic is a tale of Harambe? You know, oh my god, awful. An, an animal in captivity were the negligence of staff with like a not appropriate barricade for humans to coexist with. Yeah. Combined with the negligence of a child that climbed the barricade, combined yeah. with the parents not being attentive to the child. Yeah. And then to no fault of Harambe, who then had to get not tranquilized, but killed mm -hmm. for the safety of ignorant parents and negligent children. Yeah, it's terrible. And an already like like domesticated, questionable environment. Yeah, it's really sad. Yeah. Um I, I guess, guess so. The good thing about Harambe is I was gonna like, say, so like what, 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 what lesson have we learned since Harambe to right those wrongs would be a question. I think, generally speaking, it opened up a lot of people's eyes to like just animals under human care, and like that people got a, had a lot of compassion for that gorilla that you don't normally see because they're like, this is so unfair. Yeah, it was so blatantly um, like. 
Yeah, it definitely opened up a lot of conversations about animals in captivity, um, animals under human care, and like. So you would say that like some zoos get too caught up in the tourist attraction and the spectacle of totally. animals. Huh? Yeah, totally. And uh, like sanctuaries are what we need more of. No, not necessarily. I mean, or like, what I you... could call myself a zoo if I wanted to. You know, like you can you can call yourself anything. Uh, we like the word sanctuary better, uh, but. It really just depends. It's like restaurants, right? Like, it's really hard to say all restaurants are bad. You go to some that are really good. You go to some that are shit, yeah. right? Um, it's just like that with zoos. Uh, there are some people that do zoos really poorly, and they do it for money, and they do it for entertainment, uh, and they do it for the people. And there are some zoos that are absolutely vital uh, to protecting wild populations. Like, a lot of genetic diversity of endangered animals is upheld within zoos. San Diego Zoo has a whole frozen zoo. They have a ton of frozen sperm at the zoo so that if a species goes extinct, surprise, no it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> because we have zoos. But generally speaking, if you guys are wondering like, how do I know if a zoo is good or not? Yes. Um, AZA Zoos, uh, Association of Zoos and Aquariums, mm -hmm. uh, is good in America. So if you're gonna go to a zoo, like San Diego Zoo is my favorite zoo for the yeah, no, it's, Okay, I've actually been to the SD Zoo and Love it is- it. You can't even get it done in one day. Like, oh, it's huge. You, if you tried, you might be able to get the whole thing done yeah. in like 12 hours. But that's like skipping a meal and that's like doing each exhibit like 10 minutes. Yeah. Like you're going to, you it's a two day thing. No way. Yeah. Um, generally all the big city zoos, like I haven't checked these for sure, but I assume like Philadelphia, LA Zoo, whatever. Uh, those are all going to be AZA. Generally speaking, avoid roadside zoos. If you see a zoo that has an attraction, it's like cub petting, right? It's like pet mm. these baby tigers and take pictures with them. Whoa, uh -uh. red flag. Don't go there. Red flag. Uh, because you'll notice places like that always have cubs to take pictures with because that's the moneymaker. Mm -hmm. uh, but then they don't have adult tigers. You know, they have like 12 cubs one season and then a year later they're all gone. Uh -huh. They sell them off to game ranches, which is like in Texas, probably in Louisiana too. People buy a ton of acreage and then people pay to trophy hunt on their land. So like all these little baby tigers and lions that were socialized from being babies and like taken pictures with and bottle fed by a bunch of different people get thrown on game ranches and then people go out and shoot them and they're not Cringe. afraid of people. Cringe. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so cub petting is a no. Cub petting is a no-no. Um, cub petting. The game, we'll those game ranches are really cringe too, by the way. So it's like, cringe. It's like you're not even like, uh, yeah, I'm a Paul Bunyan, you know, hard ass. And it's like. Yeah, crazy, bro, you're, right, you're, guys? You're, you're literally just predatory on like domesticated animals like yeah. it's, it's like chat is cringe i'm sorry it's, it's fully cringe fully cringe fully cringe all right we're coming into the monkey enclosure it's the marmoset enclosure we will see how it goes <laughs> let's do it let's do it Fo i'm sorry Fo following you hello oh my god <laughs> these are the marmosets we have two oh of them. My God. Um, this is Momo. He's a black tufted marmoset. And this is Appa. Momo and Appa? He's a common marmoset. Hi, buddy. He's a common marmoset. Both of these were rescued from a neglect case in Austin. So some guy bought them online mm -hmm. and was like, pet monkeys, uh, and then didn't know how to take care of them. So they came to us with metabolic bone disease, dental disease. He had like no mobility in his back legs because his diet was so poor. He's had more than half of his teeth removed uh, because of like, it's like feeding a kid a bunch of sugar and their teeth rot out. Hello. Oh, there we um, go. So <laughs> we rehabilitated them for about six months. He might pee on you. He okay. might be coming if, if up so, to you. If so, that's fine. That's really nice, buddy. I'm just going to. Yeah, that's great. See what happens. You can face him if it's, yeah. Um, <laughs> so. Yeah, if he pisses on me, that means he was, that, that's like what, comfortable or just like. They just territory? pee on everything. Okay. They sent post everything. They mark everything. It's a monkey thing, you know? Um, monkeys are seed dispersers, so in the wild, they'll eat fruit, swing around, and shit everywhere mm -hmm. to help with forest regrowth. Really terrible for inside your house, obviously. I see. Um, so, so just like, just like hello. 100 zero here, chat? like monkeys are not to be... Monkeys like, are not pets. They're not pets. Yeah, they're not that's... indoor pets. They're, they... There's just no <laughs> You're way. looking at chat. Uh, so the reason we have these guys is to talk about the pet trade, primarily, um, and like the exploitation of wild animals in the pet trade. Um, it's also just really unfair to them to be inside. This is the first enclosure that they've ever had where they're outside and like can see the outside. Mm -hmm. They were living in like a little kind of like bird cage inside someone's house. Uh, they had vitamin D deficiencies because there's not enough sunlight. Um, muscle atrophy because they couldn't move enough. 
Um, so they really do need outside spaces. These are Brazilian monkeys too. Um, so if you look in here, they have a whole inside room. It's Ooh. like this except inside. They have uh -huh. AC in there. Um, oh, I see for for like for like temperature yeah, stability purposes. Because they're not like native to Texas, so. Gotcha. We gotta... Are they used to like a? They used to like a, a more. What about Texas climate is not necessarily it gets favorable to them? Too hot? Too cold it gets too in the cold. winter. Okay. Um, and then it is hot. Yeah, I, I don't know what the highs are in Brazil. Um, I see, I see. Okay, so they're, they're but, native to Brazil? Yeah, they're native to Brazil. So fast! Yeah, they've come a really long way. It's not a lemur. They are primates, though. Lemurs are also primates. Yeah, that's really, really that was cool awesome. that he jumped on your shoulder. And, like, yeah? they're new to programs. So, like, they've only met, what? What do you think, like four, maybe, people? Three, four people wow. um, that aren't like the staff here. So that was a really good, chill yeah, yeah, you just, time. That was really nice. I don't, I don't judge. In fact, I'm flattered if you check me out. Oh, hello. Microphone. Yeah, that's awesome. I'm trying you to like think of the what microphone? Other, uh... Hi, Momo. So, okay, like, so there, are, are there tails used for like balance? Is that correct? Yes. Yeah, um, a lot of people ask if they can like swing from their tails. Mm -hmm. These monkeys can't. There are monkeys that can. Their tails are just for balance. Let's see if I hold, <laughs> I hold the rope. I don't know what happens. Maybe. They're Maybe. just kind of chilling up there. Whatever. Whatever. Uh, this place is 15 acres. Animals love him. You have good vibes. I... Animals like good vibes. I think you can sense the. I got an ant on my. Oh yeah, that happened ant, in here. Sorry. I got an ant in my shoe. That's now on my. Wait, there we go. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, I think if. Um, Monkey. I think the vibes are if you come off as approachable and uh -huh. just like and like, not what's the word here? Prejudice. A lot of people also try to like. They're like, oh, we did it, and they like, and they don't no, like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you don't. I, I, I understand it's like, okay, you don't want to approach any animal overhanded. You yeah, want to be, that too. You want to overhand, but you want to overhand with an approach, not overhand with a con unconsensual touch. Yeah. So it's like underhand, non-threatening, and then you just wait. Yeah. Let them smell, let them identify, let them come to you. Yeah. That's really nice, Appa. That's Amazing. What I, that's what I try to do. Yeah, adorable though. Oh, so cool. So cool. So, is there anything um, unique about this, like uh, the the little strands of bangs coming out of the uh, the ear there? Is that, I actually, like, is that meant to like shroud the ears? I don't know the what ears? the purpose is. Okay. I, I, maybe part of it is like um, the same reason we have nose hair and like some hair in our ears is like filter, mm -hmm. uh, so they don't get stuff in them. Um, it could have something to do with mating. I actually, I don't know. I should though. No, all good. No, no. Uh, also, I'm I'm kind of surprised. Do do um, am I? Misremembering here? So Whiskers on a... Not really? Not really. Yeah. Maybe like a few longer hairs just for feeling around. Um, but... Yeah. Yeah, I get the feeling that you're a little more spunky, He's definitely adventurous, more spunky. And, and you're a little more timid. Yeah. And you're just right. like scoping things out. You're correct. That's okay though, because y'all are, are a dynamic duo. You guys are so cute. It is so good. Thank you very much. They love... Uh, they have an iPad. They love... Netflix. Awesome. <laughs> oh, really? Like, like, will you play them like animal clips and they'll like react to it or whatever? Magic School Bus, uh, Coco Melon. Also, I got a, the nerd in me right now, the natural like server rack and, yeah. and, and like. Oh, oh, they all have live cams. I don't, I haven't told you that. Um, on the Alvea Sanctuary Twitch channel, mm -hmm. uh, people can watch them in their enclosures all day. So like that up in that corner, mm -hmm. that's their live cam. Um, there are cameras everywhere. Man. Virtual zoo. Okay, so this this Twitch channel in question here. Yeah. Like I'm curious like can you like can you like donate bits and cheers to like change the cameras or is it like The mods change the cameras, uh, but we have actually it's broken right now. But people can donate bits to like give grain to the cow. Wow. Um, we're gonna try to automate Stompy's splash pad so they can turn that on with bits. Okay. Uh, I, so I, Stompy I, can take a bath. I, I know. I know what chat wants. They want that interactivity. Yeah. So like the minute that you can just like, not even backseat, front seat the stream with like, I want to see the emu. I want to see the monkeys. I want to see the you know just like. Yeah. Like every every new viewer will just like easily throw like. But also, even if you're not interacting, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I'm a little biased, but Alvea Sanctuary is such a sick second monitor stream because you just got like a fox sleeping and like the cow hanging out. 
Um, oh, you know, this is a great call to action. Let me, let me, uh, before we continue here, slash, slash shout out. Can you, um, can you, can you just type it for me real quick? Hit it. Pow. Did it work? There you go, chat. Oh, oh someone oh. did it. <laughs> oh, so, oh, somebody just Sorry, did, it. I did it. Somebody had just did it, actually. All right, so. <laughs> Engineer, thank you for doing that. All right, awesome, awesome. Cool. Thank, thank you, mods. Mo mods, gods, right now. This is Abbott. Okay. This is the crow enclosure. Hmm. Another thing. I feel like crows get a bad rep because of the Edgar Allan Poe poetry and just like you know, crows are crows are like a signifier of death, right, or whatever. Yeah, there's but a lot are, of folklore. But crows are awesome. Um, about uh, that people think they're an agricultural pest because they can be. Um, you come up. That's so nice. Do you want to put your arm out? Totally. There we go. Okay. Ooh, sorry. Let's, let's go. Come up here. Here, put your arm out. Good boy. <laughs> he was quick. <laughs> so, Abbott's an American crow. Uh, he was born in the wild here in Central Texas, uh, but he was blown out of a nest by a storm. And then he was raised by humans and imprinted on humans. So he's not, he doesn't know how to take care of himself right, uh, in weird. the wild. And so that's why he's uh, under human care. So hypothetically, if he went into the wild, he, just, he just wouldn't know where to go, what to do. And just... Yeah, so imprinting, you know how baby ducks follow adult ducks? Mm -hmm. uh, it's because they identify with ducks as a species. So like when these birds identify with people as a species, they don't learn who to mate with and what to eat and where to migrate to and how to find shelter and et cetera, et cetera. Um, so, so is it that kind of that situation where like he thinks we're all big crows? It's like twilight. Yeah. It's like twilight. Um, so I, I, remember, I, I heard this theory that like cats, cats see humans as like really big cats. Like, like the cats think that we're their pet. Do you want to show them your weave? Uh, I don't know if that's like true or not though, but like. He's been learning how to weave. Can you weave? Wow. Oh. <laughs> Can you weave? <laughs> Look at him go. Okay, weave. okay. Whoa. Cross up LeBron James weave. going for the layup. Weave. Let's go. Wow. Oh, scared? Scary? Good job. <laughs> amazing. He's amazing. So he, what's his favorite food? Probably scrambled egg. They eat everything. everything. Scrambled egg, fruits, veggies. This is cow kibble that we're feeding them right now. Um... They eat vegetables, they eat nuts, they eat insects. See what you're gonna... Yeah. Okay, all right, here we go. Good boy. <laughs> um, cats think we're bad cats. Yeah, I don't know how literal it is. I don't, I don't know how exactly they perceive us. Yeah, this is actually, um, this is like a... Um, I learned uh, that we're making some, some, some recent breakthroughs uh -huh. on, like, cat science. Yum. Um, that, like, in cats are more domesticatable than we think yeah. like they'll they'll like they'll interact and do commands you just gotta like convince them that it's worth mm -hmm. their time that like, makes sense dogs are eager to please humans right. and have a master cats yeah. are like well give me a reason to care right exactly is what i'm learning here and it, it, it extends to like this this like theory that like cats think that the human master that we're the master yeah. right? the human owner is just a really big cat and that's your thing yeah so I don't know much more. I'm not, I'm not like a catologist. I just thought that was a very <laughs> interesting discovery that is, again, like I'm talking yeah. about under five years ago, this is like a new thing that's coming out now. Cats so. can be clicker trained for sure. Um, and crows can be clicker trained. Crows are super smart. A lot of people know that. Um, crows will leave, you know that pecan that you couldn't break? Yeah. Crows can't do that either. And so they'll leave them in the road and wait for cars to run them over. Oh. Um, crows and uh, ravens can speak as well. He doesn't, uh, but they can. Um, I think better than parrots, actually, but we'll wait to see if Abbott talks one day. Good job. Um, friends! <laughs> oh, yeah, you are. So, is this like, this is just him, like, wanting more food? Yeah. Or, it's, or attention? Yeah, he's like, super food motivated. I, he also likes attention. Definitely is into mm -hmm. being around diva. people. Absolutely, absolutely diva right there. Do you want to show them you can catch? Wow. Wait, what? You want to throw one? Encore? Encore? Wait, 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 w
Wow, Whoa. good job. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> Pretty good. Good job. You are so good. He's amazing. <laughs> Yo, MLB, uh, recruit, recruit. This, this is a this is a phenomenal like uh, right field catcher right here. Holy shit! Good job. Good job. All right, if you guys haven't lost your minds already, sorry. We'll go to the next one. So those are the crows. Uh, crows are very cool. They're very smart. Woo! That's coconut. He's oh, another okay. crow, but he's a little. He's way more shy. Way more cautious. Oh, chat. That was a pun. Ten bucks. Oh, it wasn't, but that's funny. Uh, no, uh, <laughs> Ten bucks, though. Accident, hey. Accidental unintended puns. Oh, sure, those are double tax. Twenty bucks. Twenty bucks, 20 please. Bucks. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. We don't want Mai to get in a, an infraction here. We have, we have to. That pun tax. <laughs> By the way, not my rules. That, that's that, that's a Twitch rule. Okay, that's a TOS violation. Oh. And we don't want, we don't want the sanctuary to be in, vi in a violation here. Thank so. you. That's really nice of you. It's really responsible. All right. This is the last one, actually. Okay. Last enclosure. Uh, we're going up to see the foxes. We so have here's two another foxes. question uh -huh. about this. So like, what can I'm trying to think here? Like, like okay. So this is like like the the sanctuary pops off on Twitch, right? We pop off. You pop off, right? Yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> I'm trying to think here. What can what can game studios do? Is there is there That's is a there good any? Question. Is there like any crossover? Like, so like besides like Twitch streamers like me coming over uh -huh. and, and helping and whatnot, like, is there like, I don't know, I'm trying to think here. Like, I want my animals in Planet Zoo. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to be able to, to take care of Georgie and give him enrichment. Oh, Georgie. No, I don't know. I haven't really yeah, thought I'm, about I'm, it. I'm, to I'm, be I'm just kind of thinking out loud here. I'm just like, like, this is like so. Oh Hi, my guys. God. Oh my god. <laughs> These are the foxes. Oh my god. We have two um, American red foxes. One of them is not red. Uh, and it's because he was born in captivity for the pet trade. Mm -hmm. So he was confiscated from the illegal pet trade in California. So, okay. Why are foxes... Um, why can't a dog lover just adopt a fox? So, what, is the, what is the obvious common sense thing that most people don't know? Most places it's illegal. Um, they're also just wild animals. They're not domesticated. Foxes scent post a lot. So like the monkeys, they'll just pee on everything, poop on everything. They're also seed dispersers, so they'll run around and poop everywhere. And just generally speaking, you'll see as we go in here, uh, they just don't act like dogs. Um, people get foxes and they, like Finn, they want them to be dogs. different colors. Okay. Yeah. And then, like, you ever heard about that stuff in Russia, them domesticating foxes? No, no. Um, so they, they started domesticating foxes in Russia. Here, I'm going to give you these. If you want to squat down here, you'll take those out of your hand. So just, just squat yeah. down? Oh, Finn, over here. Hey. He's got food. Um, they started domesticating foxes in Russia, and what they found is they were so excited because they are like, we start getting foxes that have spots, and they sit, and they fetch, and they come to their name, and they have a natural... Uh, lack of fear of people mm -hmm. and it was like you're like there's making a dog you know right. but people will pay eight thousand dollars to get a fox uh, as a pet and bring them back to the states i was gonna see if reed reed you want to come get a treat this is just their kibble it's not really a treat reed you will you stay over there i'm trying to get the other fox thank you here you go that's nice good brave boy um so, yeah, they just, they don't do as well in a house as a dog does because they're not domesticated. Here you go. Do they like affection? Do they, or they don't really like, they're not, they're not really You can't really on. touch them. Huh? Yeah, you can't really touch them. Gotcha. Um, we've worked on touching as like a husbandry behavior, so they're comfortable if we have to give them injections or like treat a wound or something. Yeah, just, uh, but you can't in. like gotcha. pet them yeah, like yeah, a I'm dog. Yeah, yeah, I'm just coming in underhanded, passive. Yeah, it's they, nice. He's just looking for food. Yeah. Okay, so, um, so foxes, they're more like, right. they're more like thimble, agile. Way more cautious, way more timid. Um, and they just, they love you're being beautiful. outside. Isn't he cool? You're beautiful. You're beautiful. Uh, 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 not, not that you're not. You're also, you are, you're like a cookies and cream milkshake I want to eat so bad. This is Reed uh, back here. Reed was born in the wild. He was orphaned in the wild, though, was raised by people. So kind of like the crows. Uh, is non-releasable. Uh, just like. But Finn was born in captivity. Foxes. Uh, 
I have a soft spot here because there are so many fictional foxes. Yeah. Robin Hood from Disney, yeah. Nick from Zootopia, Fox McCloud. You know, his Starbucks. name used to be Nick. And then really? we got him here, and I was like, I'm not having a fox named after Nick Paul, and so I changed, we changed it. <laughs> so what's, what's the name again? Reed. Reed. That's his new name, but his name was Nick before. Mm, of course. Yeah, it's like all the Elsa um, names are going to just be for yeah. another five years or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they're, they're really, really yeah, cool. Fun. So um, what's like a really cool like fox fact? I, foxes, I, I mean, are they're like... They they can jump high, they can run fast. Can you hear something crazy that I honestly haven't done that much research on, so like bear with me. Uh, people think that they can see magnetic fields. What? Which is crazy. You know you've seen foxes like pounce? Yeah. Um, you know in like snow, those videos in National Geographic where a fox is like poof, and like lands in the snow. You kind of have to wonder how they do that and how they find prey. Uh, and they did a study in the Czech Republic, and they documented thousands of fox jumps, and they were only jumping to, like, the northeast or something. And they were only successful jumping to the northeast, and any other direction that they pounced, they were missing. Um, and so they think that they line with, up with, with the magnetic fields yeah. uh -huh, to I hunt. See. So hmm. that's kind of cool. Um, Fox has got built-in compasses, yeah, built-in GPS, built-in built -in Apple Maps. Very interesting. People also think that a lot of birds can see magnetic fields because of their ability to migrate across countries, right? Um, you know, that's another thing we, I've never considered here. I saw this one documentary of like a, there was like this rare disease documentary I saw and I was really bored one day. And it was uh, talking about how like, a, what's it called? Electrosensitivity or like, mm -hmm. it's like, like the, the average power plant like emits some kind of like thing and it's like certain animals certain humans even are sensitive to whatever it emits because it's mm -hmm. so like beyond nature mm. and like if this is like making certain humans get like killer migraines to where they can't even be oh. within like a five mile radius of a, a power plant then like what's doing to animals yeah you know what I mean? like, who knows i mean that's crazy i haven't heard about that one yeah 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 it's it's wild Especially thinking about the fact that chat, you know, like quite frankly, humans we're, we're stupid. Like um, our our eye psychic capability, you know, the amount the amount of like color prism we're able to even like identify. Yeah, like, we're, we're, do we're, jumping spiders. We're dumb. Have our us hearing frequencies are incredibly limited, so it's like just because we can't hear or see doesn't mean that other animals can't. You know, so just yeah. Like, why can't we echolocate? It's because we're too stupid. Exactly right. Yeah. So you know, we've never considered the the, the effects of uh, the more subtle effects of our man made activity on environment stability and I'm, I'm kind of i'm talking about like a broken record right now but like yeah. it's just like if you really pause to evaluate you know we never really um had an industrial revolution that was having any compassion for our other for friends f-w-e-n-s our friends in nature yeah yeah we, we just do like whatever's the cheapest and most humans, profit yeah. profit gouging which is cringe yeah um finn for the first like probably year of his life was in somebody's house uh and Knowing Finn, he's been here about a year. There's nothing in there, buddy. He's been here about a year. This animal would just be so unhappy inside of a house. Uh, they just, they like sleeping in the sun. He likes hunting bugs, you know? Um, he just likes being outside. Like, he's, he's meant to live outside. He's a wild animal. Um, I, would, I would feel awful if he lived inside of a house. So we have the foxes to teach people about the pet trade again. It's another pet trade ambassador. But then also uh, fur. Fox fur. I was gonna ask you, okay, so I feel yeah. like I feel like the the people are aware that like animal exotic furs are cringe. Yeah. Exploitative, terrible, etc. Yeah. But is that is that still a big problem even today or is that it's kind of less, calm down now? Fur's definitely less popular. But it's still I mean, it's still being propagated. Like there are still buddy, there's nothing in there. There are still fur farms. Um, and fur farms are where they breed animals like foxes and minks and rabbits, uh, just for fur. Propagation, so they'll breed them, kill them, skin them, sell the fur. Um, and with foxes, for example, one of the um, American Veterinary Association, I think, yes, uh, approved methods of slaughter for fur farms is electrocution. And they'll put a rod, this is really gnarly if you don't want to hear this, I'm sorry. Um, no. They'll put a rod in their mouth. Try hard and chat if, uh, I, I, would, I would assume the tryhards are, 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 they love this right now. Okay, they I, get I, it. I, above everything, they're I know learning. This. They're learning. Um, they put a rod in their. They hang them, and then they put while well, they're alive, and they put a rod inside their mouth and inside their anus because it sends a 
shock all the way through their body. Um, and it's approved because it's supposed to be that it like kills them immediately. Uh, but they have found a lot of places where it just doesn't work the first time. It's also just it's just a terrible way to go. Torturous. Um, yeah, also, great. there are fur farms in like Finland where they're breeding foxes like the chickens to be obese because then you have a larger yield of, of uh, fur. Uh, so you have these foxes that like, can't walk that are just like so morbidly obese. Yeah, the, um, the chicken problem again with the hormones and all that. Yeah. So obviously don't purchase furs, don't purchase new furs, uh, but it's still a thing. Like I, I looked online, you can buy a fur, like a fox hole thing for like 300 bucks or something. Are you serious? Yeah. Cringe. Yeah. Cringe. Cringe. What they about, have AC in what there. What about imitation fur? Is that also, is that, is that an issue? That's Or like a... Um, no, I don't think so. That's actually an interesting... Yeah, I, I just want to make sure it was not like one of those like situations. No, it's, like, it's not a problem. I, a lot of people don't realize that fur lining, like even like on a hood, can be real fur. So you got to make sure that it's faux fur. Um, and I think faux fur is fine. Uh, I don't wear it as like a influencer because I don't want people to see it and be like, oh, that looks cool. No, yeah, and I agree. Yeah, you want to you want to send the message that you know where the problem stems from. And, yeah. But and obviously, I, if you're if you're doing your part, if you if you have to have the aesthetic, then sure, right? Right. Imitation can be can be can be like less. Um, I just don't want. Like, I would hate to wear a fur coat and, like, post a picture on Instagram and for people to be, like, like a faux one. Yeah. And for people to be, like, oh, that looks sick. Like, I want one. Well, even <laughs> above everything, I'm, I'm, I would be, I am principled in the regard that I don't even want to make faux fur a desirable aesthetic. Because I know, yeah. I know, I know where that came from right. initially. Yeah, that's a good. So. That's fair. Yeah. You know, I agree. It's not for me, chat. I mean, if it's for you, then go faux fur. But, like, ultimately, you, you know why it is what it is. So. Furs are just annoying. Yeah, they're also, I, they're kind of itchy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a separate issue, uh, seems, uh, I guess. So our, our friend here on the other side is uh, just fox trotting. Yeah, he uh, is much more anxious than Finn is, uh, especially with new people. Um, so we'll probably head out of here. Just because okay. he's like, oh, what's going on? Um, but yeah, that, that pacing behavior is usually not something you'll see a dog do. Boots with the fur. Boots with the fur. With the fur. Oh, I was oh. looking at... Nice foot. <laughs> she hit the floor. Yeah, that's, that's, that's where I live. Sorry, huh? I live over there. Oh! That's my house. Damn, you just... You are, you are the real deal, huh? I'm out here. I'm, we outside. Welcome to my commute. My daily commute to work. Okay, okay. So, here's a question. What is the most annoying or, like, time-consuming thing oh. about being out here? Is it like... Ooh. Because you're kind of you're kinda, you're kinda out here. I was like, ooh, we are, we are... Most annoying or time-consuming... Yeah, I mean, so you can't order food. Right. Um, which, like, streamers just... Yes, yeah, they, they people. I mean, everybody orders. Food yeah, now. they get care about DoorDash. But like, no, it's, it's true. Yeah, you can't. It, it's true. That's true. You can't Uber Eats out here. You can't order pizza. So like, if you don't have food on site, it takes like an hour plus. Uh, yeah, because it's, like, yeah, it. it's like. Yeah, because it's like. I was like, man, we are out here. Yeah. Like, it, it took me a minute to get here. Chat. Yeah. Yeah. So. so that. Oh, I don't have septic. Oh. I we have septic down here. Okay. So there is a working bathroom down here. Uh, in my tiny house, I can't get a permit from the freaking county. It's like. <laughs> Won't bring it on stream. Okay, it's so drama. I, uh, I pee outside. I, so I lived on my on my on my grandpa's farm, uh -huh. and yeah, I knew about the country. We didn't have, you know, we don't have city sewage, so yeah, you, we had to use the septic tank. And uh, yeah, changing that, not fun. <laughs> yeah. Um, getting a what's it called? A water water softening water water softener. I wouldn't know. I don't have a septic tank. Yeah. So uh, you know, when I say I was in the country chat, I mean like seriously, we had a water softener. You have to actually apply like. Uh, salt deposits into your water softener because the water naturally is going to be harsh against like things like a tub or a toilet. Mm. It just like yellows and, and causes calcification so aggressively. I can shower. When I moved into the tiny house, I had no water, no electricity, and no septic. Now, mm -hmm. so I was literally living in a in a tent that was really nice because <laughs> it's like a little house. <laughs> a tent with walls. Yeah. yeah. Um. Now I have electricity and water. I just don't have septic, so it's really not that bad. I just pee outside right on why did i sit it's just i just had deja oh it's because of the tiktok sound <laughs> i have brain rot it's really not that bad okay oh, that's so cool though 
Yeah, yeah, you, you are the real deal. Little shaping. But it sounds like a very happy, prosperous, and above everything, fulfilling life. Yeah? It is, yeah. You wake up every um, day and, like, every animal is just so excited to see you, like... Not all of them. The macaws don't like me very much. Oh. Um, no, this, this format for a sanctuary is so sick because we get to teach thousands of people. Mm hmm online but mm -hmm. the animals don't even know that you know we don't have like kids like a zoo like running yeah. past the fox enclosure and screaming uh they don't know what a live That's camera what is hurts me actually when i so i went to uh the most recent zoo i went to i think was like the ohio like the Colum the the um columbus ohio zoo and uh kids i see i don't want to throw shade here but it's like they're ungrateful little shits kids honestly. man they're not dude they me. just like they don't <laughs> get the miracle of life and biodiversity and just like i see a flamingo and i could just like stare so, at wow. it in amusement for like an hour straight they're and just like they're like where's my yogurt <laughs> yeah they're just like they think giraffes are lame they think they think tigers are are, are stale yeah. i'm like what what do you just find all animals boring like what yeah yeah i went from teaching kids in schools with animals in person where i was like no don't pull on him don't poke him to teaching thousands of young adults online uh i'm good over here i'm good with the way it is now Whew. The whole tour. Chat, if you're a kid, close the tab. I don't. We don't want to talk to you. We don't like you. Yeah, is there like a... So is there like a message? What can we... What's the lasting impact that um, I can give to my community about, about today's tour? About today's tour? Like... Well, um, I hope you guys learned a lot. Again, like the biggest thing... My role in conservation is teaching people uh, because people aren't going to do any they're not going to care if they don't know what's going on and they're not going to do anything if they don't know what's going on uh, so my role is just teaching people so you've already done your part in that way you guys have donated so much thank you so much um, we'll keep doing education programs we keep doing collabs like this so we combine audiences to teach a bunch of people uh, one of the big ones is like try if you could try like a vegetarian vegan meal every once in a while that'd be sick Okay. Um, that's really great for the environment and like some of them are really good. Mm -hmm. Uh, so that would be good. Um, Man, don't some, get like, exotic pets. Don't get exotic pets like that a lot. That's a big one. Okay, wild animals. Yeah. Oh, animal rescues, right? Mm -hmm. Like, um, what, what, what was your word? Adopt, don't. Adopt, don't shop. Adopt, don't that's shop. That's not mine. That's like, but yeah. No, that, that's, uh, that's a banger. That is a banger. I like that one mm -hmm. a lot. That's a Maya banger right there. Okay. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I mean, you guys learned a ton throughout the stream. I really appreciate it. There's a lot of people no, here. This, this was really, really fun. Thank you. What, what is our, uh, man, what are we, what are we at right now? Because. 1140 Oh my God. Chat, we're at $1,140. All right. And uh, I guess, let me see here. Could I, how do I? I'm, I don't know how to do that yeah, on mobile. Yeah, I don't know if I can do it. I don't know if I can do this on mobile. Um, We'll do it later. He was matching up to two hundred. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna, I'm gonna, I was gonna throw down the. Uh, I want y'all to know that I was like, I'm about it, about it. But I also, for the record, mm -hmm. it has never been easier for me to do education on a collab. I think in my life. What? <laughs> Are you serious? Like, like this has been, yeah. this has been the most yeah. synergy, like compassion-filled one. Yeah. Well, not, I, not, not, sorry, actually, that, that that was comparative. Uh, what a very a very easy one to do. That a lot of my viewers are here that have seen collabs. Mm -hmm. It's. Half of it is like me trying to be funny and like banter and entertain and like wrangle the other streamer in and like try to teach people even though they don't care. Um, you made it really easy. I really appreciate that. This is really great. No, y'all. I um, I don't. I don't know what to. How do I uh, put it here? Um, I've always been. I, I wish. I wish Venom was here because Venom's another animal. You gotta bring too. her. Yeah. I got it. So I think here, Chad is like the tease here is there is a sequel to be done. They'll be back. Because Venom being Venom is such an animal nut. Venom, Venom wants to like she literally wants to do some kind of like yeah. Like when we if we when we move to Texas when not if when okay when when we move to Texas she wants to like she can volunteer here. I think. Oh my God. No, d yes. Yes. No, like, actually, yes. We'll take that. Act like, 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 no cap. Um, oh, she's in chat right now. Yeah, no, no, she would, she would love the privilege. Trust me. Um, oh, I would love to have But you. she, like, I would love to consult you and see, like, okay, hey, if, if I get a house and get, like, a big, dumb Texas yard, like, what can I do? Like, what can I, could I? You know what? I should set you up with, um, you're here for a bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm here until, like, uh, like, early on. You know Austin Pets Alive? 
Mm-mm, you don't, because no. why would you know that? <laughs> <laughs> it's a um, animal shelter in Austin. I did a stream there. Um, it's dogs and cats. I did an IRL from there. They'd probably love to have you there. Wow. I should set you up with that. And That'd you be- can, like, foster and um, volunteer with them. That would be cool, because you love dogs and cats. I, I do, yeah. Yeah, yeah that'd be we'll sick. talk. That would be good. Well, I'm trying to think, is there any other... I think I think I, I, think I kind of covered everything. Um, yeah. No, this has been. Thank you again. This thank is, you. This has been. This has been a great opportunity. I and this is like. This has I'm been sorry so, you lost the push-up contest. It happened. It's okay. You can't win them all. It's okay. It sounds like we'll have to run it back on the sequel, the, okay. the round two with Venom. Dude, still, I come back. I do fifty. Imagine. I mean, you you you, you bang it. I'm trying to make your like. We could like push-ups. <laughs> I mean, pull-ups. I don't know, like squats, air squats. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's like a, I mean, name a, name a better duo, women and squat day. It's like what they, it's like what y'all, it's what y'all love to do. I couldn't name a better duo if mm-hmm. you asked me yeah, to do that. Yeah, so, um, no, th- thank you so much to the, uh, to the Maya community for, for pulling up today. Thank you to the tryhards for just like thank coming you, through try so hearts. hard. I, if, if I knew how to donate on mobile, I would, I don't know if this, does it, does it a little pop up? I don't know if it does or not. Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Either. I've never I'm, donated I'm sorry. on mobile. If, if, if there was not an alert for each donation, I apologize here. That was a, that was a skill issue on my end. I am sorry. I want y'all to know here when I go live, I will thank all of you on the next <laughs> stream where I can see all the stuff and all That's that. That's so you know? nice. Just wanted to keep the, keep the content high tempo and whatnot here. This has been, this has been great. Um, chat, what was your favorite segment? What was like the, was it the, uh, was it the, uh, George. was it, was it jo- Georgie? Was Georgie your favorite one? Was it the, uh, the reptiles? Was it the, or was it, was it all of them? Stompy, Stompy. Splash pad. Wow. They love Stompy. <sighs> wet chicken. The wet chicken. <laughs> stompy bath. The marmosets did great with him. Mm-hmm. That's excellent. I was thrilled with how <sighs> the marmosets did today. Yeah, it was, it was, it was so good. Did we meet the rats? Uh, we have rats and chinchillas as well in the nutrition house. Oh, I see. I can show you them after. Okay, okay. I mean, you got, we can go over there. Do you want to see them really quick? We can end I mean, I would, I would love to. I mean, yeah, let's th- go. Th- chat, chat threw me like four. We're still in the backpack. It's going to take a second. Come with me. We'll end in the nut house. Okay. I mean, if, if four digit donations, I have, to, I have to like, you know. I would love to if you don't mind. Yeah, absolutely. Easy peasy. This is the nutrition house. Um, so we do all of our diet and nutrition prep in here. Um, and the rats and chinchillas live in here as well. Whoa. Welcome. Whoa. Bonus content, you I guys. Lo- I lo- yeah, bonus chapter, y'all. Never, uh, try hard to chat. Never say that we didn't go 110% today. All right. I don't this have is, keys, so, so I can't open this. But, so um, cool. oh, there's a chin. There's a chinchilla right <gasps> there. Yo, hello. It's a little rodent. Um, it takes like 120 plus of these to make a fur coat, and they do use chinchillas for fur. Uh, mm. So they almost wiped them out in Peru. Now they're protected and doing a lot better. But we have the chinchillas to talk about the fur Adorable. trade. I'm sorry, chat. I, I can't unlock their enclosure. I don't have keys. Um, and then the rats live in here. I don't know where they are sleeping. I mean, the rats are naturally like not a uh, not keen on daylight, right? Hello. Chips Ahoy, Nilla Wafer. We have rats to talk about that biomagnification thing I told you about. Oh. oh there we are. I see a little rat. <gasps> um, rats are our friends. Rats are our friends. Um, to talk about rodenticides and like how they affect other wildlife. Chips, you want to come say hi? Um, these were going to be feeder rats, so they're going to get fed to snakes. and. Now they live here. Um, Adorable. Can you come say hello? You can they are try, so cool. You can pet her. Sometimes she likes under the chin scratchies. That's nice, Chips. <laughs> I think it's so cute. Yeah, they're, they're adorable. I love rats. Nilla, are you cozy we, in there? How do we fight the stigmatization of rats and mice? I don't know. People really, I mean, people hate them because the same thing as cockroaches, like infestations. Um, But generally speaking, before you put out rat poison or glue traps, glue traps are so cringe, 
It's a terrible way to die. They just get like stuck to glue yeah, and, and then like starve to death. Yeah, they like pull off their skin and like bleed out or they starve there. Um, so before you do glue traps or rat poison, there are lots of like natural ways to get rid of rats there. Um, I don't know actually like natural substances, but there's no you do not you're gonna stay in there. Um, there's a lot of there's oh, a lot of things sounds online. Sounds like if he, if he escaped, it'd be like uh, it scatters into the nearest corner. I assume. Yeah, though they do they get let out every day. Uh, I just don't want to catch them. <laughs> gotcha. But if you look up like natural rodenticides, you can do that. And then just like reducing rat habitat around your house. So like if you have big piles of sticks and it's right up next to your house, like they'll want to live in there, and then they'll probably get in your house. Make sure you keep all your food covered so they don't come in and steal food. Hi. Um, but rats, honestly, it's kind of sad. One of the biggest ecosystem services that they provide is they're a really important food source for a lot of different animals. I see. Like reptiles, birds, yeah, isn't um, there like other a, mammals. What's the story behind the whole New York thing? Like, why are like rats why are, are huge in New York? Yeah, they're so prevalent in New York, and, they, and we can't even stop it. We, like, it's already like yeah, they like it's been going on for so Peanut long. Peanut butter traps are good. Yeah. Like that rats are now just like it's like. What could human humans actually do to deter rats out of New York? You, you, you kind of you kind of can't, right? Like <laughs> New York's a little bit of a lost cause. Yeah, 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 I mean, because like... there's trash everywhere, there's food everywhere, and there's sewers, so there's places for them to live. Like we're not we're not eradicating rats in New York, the but rat... don't put out rodent poison, or don't because then you'll kill owls too, and you'll kill all the rest of the animals that uh, consume that rat. Um, there's tra there's electric traps. Uh, it's a pretty humane way to kill rats. If you do have to kill rats, you can try to relocate rats. It's a little harder. Uh, there are CO2 traps as well. Um, so there's a lot of things that are not glue traps and rodenticides. But that is all. That is it, y'all. The whole the whole kick kaboom. That's the whole shebang. And this, the sanctuary. This is so cool. Thank you. This is like this is like super swag. This is a lot a lot like cooler and super swag yeah no, I, I i mean i didn't know what to expect uh but this is like way more like infrastructure i thought it was gonna be like a bunch of like i don't know random cages like petting zoo yeah yeah i was like <laughs> i mean maybe it, may, it might take an hour to get everything done and i'm like I'm, I'm blown away at the scale of of your empire mind it's, it's quite admirable yeah we're set up yeah you're you're Again, I We're I'll, I'll, off. I'll end where I started here. I, I I stream on Twitch for purpose and fulfillment. I I try to find that every day with what I'm doing, and I I see here that you're there. Every day is is an adventure that's fulfilling and prosperous, and I just thank you for letting me be part of that. Of course, night. thank so, you for coming. Absolutely. You're the nicest collaborator I've ever had. That's crazy, um, guys. Thank you so much for watching Thank and you. for learning today. So much education today. So cool. I hope you guys like the animals. Um, and do you want to raid Alveus? Yeah. You guys want to see the live yo, cam? Yo, let's do that. Let's raid the Alveus live cam space. You can start that up in there. Do you want um, uh, to yeah, do, do the honors? Yeah, we can do it on here. Raid. You guys can go see what the animals are doing. Mm -hmm. You can also watch our keepers uh, take care of them every day, do their training sessions every day. There you go. Uh, so... The live cams are cool. Go follow that channel. Thank you so much. Thank you, chat. Thank you all again. And I'm gonna I'm gonna dono right after this here. Twelve fifty before Crazy. me. Crazy. Crazy. C -c 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 Crazy. Thank you guys so much. Thank, thank you all again. Amazing. All Amazing. Right. All right. Any last words? We're good. Thank I'm, you. I'm, hit, I'm hitting the rate. I'm hitting the I'm hitting the button. He's chat. hitting it. Five, four, three, three two, two, one. See you. Da -na -na -na.